I think I'm going to go Goresh. I'm going to go Goresh. Do you know who that is? Goresh? Who's Goresh? I don't know who that is. No, I mean, like the character. What character I've selected? I said I'm going to go Goresh. Oh, Wario. Yes, correct. Okay, just waiting, let me... Just waiting for you to rejoin the room, and then we're good to go. Yep, I'm getting in on my stream right now. Okay. That's cool. Um, That's cool. Full screen, uh, projector, source. Here we go. I've got my screen now. I'm good to go. Don't know if anyone's here. If you are, hello. Um, my chat isn't working right now. It will be in a minute. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. But we are good to go. All we need now is people. If you want to join this race and you're here, I will put up the code in about five minutes because we just want to wait and see if a few people from 5.9 are going to join first. And then we will let y'all join. <clears throat> I'm actually wearing pyjamas right now while I'm racing. Mario Kart pyjamas. Julie bought me them today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm wearing, I'll, I'll, I'm wearing a Mario Kart top and I've got Mario, Toad, Luigi, Yoshi, banana skins, mushrooms all over my pants. So we're good to go. I say pants for you Americans. I, I obviously mean pyjama bombs, but <laughs> there we go. So... Are you ready? Yeah, right. I'm ready. Right, let's just choose a track and we'll go there. We'll see who else is going to join. Anyone who was playing this with us yesterday, we're in the same room today as we were yesterday. So you could just join. You don't actually need the code. And you've got an early start on everyone before we publish the code. Um, I do need to just really quickly tell Iron Kane. Alec Hunter does play Dirty Julia, right? Right, hang on. What? Julie says you play dirty. Maybe. Iron Kane. Join. Chat. Bang. Right, cool. Ah, ah. I forgot the buttons. I've changed pads today. Decided to play with my Xbox pad rather than playing with the PlayStation pad. See if it gives me an advantage. Oh, shit. Which I think it does. So what have you been up to today, Alec? Uh, I've been working on some stuff behind the scenes, learning the uh, the base camp system and whatnot. The and uh, I'm learning some software for one of for a project I want to bring to Five Nine, um, but I have to really understand the software first. Okay. What's going on, guys? All right, James. What's happening? I'm what's on. up, Mike? I send you one. Um, turn yourself you, up. Uh, what's up? Turn your turn your mic up if you can. Um. Oh yeah. Get a bit quiet. Oh. We can always turn him up on our end once we're done with this race too. Oh yeah, we can. He did. How about now? Yeah, it's better. I'll probably turn you up a bit more because you're really quiet. Little boy uh, vocal cords. Little boy vocal cords, yeah, that's the excuse. <laughs> oh. My mod squad's showing up. Right on, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. See, now I think now I think Mike's over here in my stream just trying to mess with me because he's throwing up bits which cover up part of my screen while I'm playing because I play on the same screen that I'm broadcasting. Uh, why don't you just use an output Stop projector? I have issues with my sound doubling up when I do that. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. Just um, don't turn monitor off. You don't just like when you go into your settings, just set monitor to off. Okay. The, I guess you've got it through your Elgato. Uh, I think so. Is the other end of your Elgato going into your TV? Well, everything's hooked up through my computer is the issue. Right, because I've got that as well, but I mean, generally, I would play Mario Kart without sound if it wasn't for the fact that Julie is currently playing on the big TV, so I hear the sound from that. But I've done streams many a time where I don't have any game audio, because if I put it on a... If I put it on to... Lightning Bolts. I know, I hate them. 
If I was to put it onto monitor, you're right, cause a discord, it would double oh, up more audio. Because you unfortunately can't add discord as its own audio source. Go, 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 yeah. go, go. Yes, Alec! <laughs> you take that. You take that. You oh. take that. James is muted and I don't know why. I don't <laughs> I was know just talking why. to my father, man. Dondre, how you doing? Going to catch up with the chat between races. Um, am I going to abandon my channel for five nine like Naz? Um, kinda. Like my YouTube channel, possibly, but for my Twitch channel, probably not. Um, probably going to still stream on Twitch in between when I'm doing stuff on five nine, but. I haven't had a lot of time to focus on my Dokkan content. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't. So I'd rather um, I'd rather put all my focus onto one thing than try and put a diluted version of my focus onto two things. So if my channel for YouTube slips a little bit, I apologise, but I'm kind of putting my all into five nine. I'm not going to abandon my channel, but I'm going to try my best to keep doing double stream duty. Apparently, I'm only four followers away from 600, according to my chat. Oh, very nice. Oh, very, very nice. I don't have that. Can you? How's it going, my man? How is it going? Streaming... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you guys better stream for at least two hours, otherwise I can't join. We're streaming for two and a half hours, Taffy. We are streaming for two and a half hours. There's nothing very interesting in Dokkan to focus on, not even in the coming months, so that's fine. Yeah, again, you, I mean, to be honest with you, that's part of the reason why I'm quite happy that I am a console guy here at 5.9. Um, it means I can actually do what is the thing I'm originally interested in, which is actual full proper console gaming. So whether that's console games, PC games, just what you would trad traditionally call without being offensive to anyone who enjoys mobile games because I do but proper games you know not not casual low low effort games like Dokkan etc I'm talking like things like Resident Evil uh, I'm trying to think of actual games now Horizon Zero Dawn God of War all that type of stuff I'm not like, you know what I mean there, I'm not like insulting mobile games, but they generally are no. a lot less intense and lower effort to play than an actual game on Well, console, that's the beauty of a mobile game, in my opinion, you know, like, it's it's a game you can have with you anywhere you go that doesn't require you to completely in, invest your full attention to it. Like, there's a great spot for mobile games in the gaming market but yeah every once in a while you just want to get into a game where you really have to sink your teeth into it and concentrate on it yeah i mean genshin kind of is the, the one mobile game that's sort of a an exception to that description but then i suppose genshin is like a full game that you can play on mobile rather than a traditional mobile game if that makes sense oh yeah, yeah it's so is that you again, Alec? Is that you again, James? Yeah, I just switched over to my laptop instead of being on Discord on my phone. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the end. <laughs> that was not the last lap. I have my bad. A few times. Oh, Sunblade is logged in. Now we need to find out if Sunblade's going to be joining us in the chat. He's usually scared to talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Sunblade. I'm, ah. from, I'm from Germany. Ah. Uh, uh, I can't do his voice. I'm not oh, sure is that where Sunblade is from? Where did you think he was from? I've only ever heard him I talk once or twice. I couldn't quite place it. I'm not good with accents. Ah. Uh, do you think no. you I'm a tip I'm a typical American, dude. Oh my no. god. Oh, <laughs> oh god's sake, why is James in front? Right, I'm gonna to need to turn up James, but I'm just Oh gonna son of a Yeah 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 yeah. Here 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 here. here. There's a code. The tasing got me the last second. There is the code. There is the code. There is the <laughs> code. Bilma's baby daddy. There is the code. You could actually... You were playing yesterday. It's the same tournament. It's the exact same tournament. You could literally just... Oh, yeah. I should probably get the code. You could literally chat. just go into your list and you could rejoin. So, James, I am going... Julius, nothing. It's just him being himself. Yeah, if there's anybody on my end that's watching right now, if you were playing yesterday, it's the same It's the same room. It should be in your list. Also, hi, Sonic. Yep. Um, nice voice changer. No, it's, I'm not voice changing. I'm co-streaming with, with Hazing again, guys. Co-streaming with Hazing. So, I think really when you put um for your top three for a uh, game of the year, or you don't want to spoil. 
I'm not going to tell Sorry. you. I'll tell you what I chose as my number one if you want. Oh, sure. Hades. Hades, yeah. Hades is good, man. I never tried it, though. Mm -hmm. Hades, Hades, Hades can take the number one spot. I um, put Persona. I really enjoy Persona. Do you want me to tell you what's not on my list? What's not on your list? Genshin Impact. Yeah, near, near is it for me. Nope. It's good, but I don't think it's... For mobile game of the year, for sure, it definitely deserves a spot. But yeah. uh, for like game of the year, game of the year, uh, I don't think so personally. Yeah. I f I'm going to need to explain to people when I make this video. Um, I'm going to need to like fully explain to people. This is a, col a, a me collating the answers from everyone in Five Nine. So basically, if ten people say Genshin as their game of the year then sadly i'm going to have to put genshin as game of the year because that's how it's going to work i'm i'm basically tallying everybody's answers and whichever gets the most votes is going to be in spot one whichever gets the most votes will be second most votes will be spot two so on and so forth do you know what i mean so you're making um, an aggregated list yeah i'm making an aggregated list of everyone and then basically if it comes down to it and we have say three games that are sitting tied for 10 votes each then i'll look at the individual breakdowns to see how many people ranked it where on its list and i'll use that as the tiebreaker if, if that makes sense and um, mm. so there might be a few controversial omissions i can already tell there's going to be one massively controversial omission from it i'm not going to spoil what it is it'll make a large proportion of the gaming population extremely happy that this game is not on there but a lot of people will be shocked that there, that there can possibly be a top game of 2020 and this game is not on the list at all but it's looking like unless i get a lot more responses very quickly it's looking like <laughs> one very major game from last year isn't even going to make an appearance in the top 10. I will not say what it is, but people can maybe figure it out. I know which one it is. Uh, it shouldn't be hard to figure out. I kind of gave I enough feeling. hits there. Hints there. <laughs> but like I say, your average gamer will probably be happy that... Well, I don't know Two about your average gamer. Does? Oh my god. Your average internet using gamer who likes <laughs> social media will probably be happy about the omission. But again, it could change. I'm still waiting on quite a lot of people responding with their, with their answers, and then yeah, I texted you on a. Uh, I got yours. I got yours. I got yours. I got yours. <laughs> he asked. Do you know what he asked me? Alec, like, he went. Do you, actually, <laughs> do, do you actually want a list of the best games that came out in 2020, or just the best games that we played in 2020? And I'm like, well, people... it's called the best games of 2020. No, no, so no. no. I asked. Think? I asked you if like not large you. scale DLC not, no, would no, count. No, 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 no. Not you. James oh. asked me. Oh. James asked me. I am not I'd be crazy. I'd be down for a best games I played in 2020 list. Listen, listen, can you? I am not going to spoil this. I am giving no spoilers whatsoever as to the game I am talking about. You're going to have to wait until I publish the list, and then you can see. You can All see right. what it You're is. Cool as well, Let me man. see if I can grab the code really quick and share it over on this side. If anybody else, James are we full? Cool. Over? James is are we cool. full? James, James <laughs> Come is, on, James is not cool. I see I'm a right, sunblade here. The right on. Wild sunblade. Wait, you're looking going at on jumps? sunblade. All right, over on Twitch. If you guys want to, there's that tournament room code. Look, look, I've got a finishing flag, so every time we finish the race, I'll just pull up my arm and go. Like waving the flag. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. What's your amazing? It's not a sweatshirt. I'm wearing pajamas. Oh. <laughs> Julie bought me Mario Kart pajamas today and I'm currently wearing them because <laughs> my, my wife bought them for me so I shall wear them my wife my wife it's a it's a good no what's he say would you believe I just it's watched nice. that this year hey, hey? yes I actually just <laughs> yeah, I've never seen yes. it shut up I, I mean like you've seen enough films that I can forgive that but I actually genuinely would believe that it's a f you've only just seen it this year Um, to be honest if you told me that you'd just seen Scarface for the first time this year I would believe you but you're probably going to tell me you've never seen Scarface so I don't even know <laughs> yeah I should see that actually no I've oh, never seen that god he's not even seen all the Back to the Futures Oh, yeah. that's that's a crime. I mean, there's there's so many crimes this boy has committed. Like, <laughs> I mean, pff, like th these are actually classic films. Oh, Julie, <laughs> oh Julie, she's making Aww. bad aspersions about you. Um, I'm I'm hoping that you're going to at least at least say that I'm wrong here. Please tell me you've seen Indiana Jones. Oh yeah, I've seen Indiana Jones. All of them. Yes. Good. Good. Even even the last one. 
Oh god. Oh jeez. Let's not can, talk about yeah, yeah, yeah. the Crystal Skull. If you were to say you hadn't seen that, I would be like, you're lucky. <laughs> so it's it's fine. Do you know what I mean? You're you're allowed. I bet you've seen all the Fast and Furious movies though. No, actually, I've never seen any of them. Oh my god, I don't know how to judge you. I honestly don't know how to judge you as a person. It's like I, I just don't I... watch movies, man. That's kind of it. <laughs> Who doesn't watch movies? Not me. <laughs> but like, I mean, yeah, even boring people watch movies. Like, Call me boring, man. Come on. Well, I mean, uh, no. Well, you've been called. An, <laughs> you've been called an uncultured swine. So I think boring's like yeah. the, the the least of your worries. Um, yeah, that's true. Did you actually go and watch Wonder Woman with everyone, or did you not even do that? No, um, I was thinking of popping in, but I think by the time um, I was available, they were already like halfway through it. It's, it's not a great film. <laughs> it's not a bad yeah. film by any stretch of the imagination. A lot of people are, are painting out to be absolutely horrific. It's not, but it's not. It was great, disappointing. It's not a great film. It's not. I, saw, um, I was really there. disappointed. Captain Marvel's better than it. <laughs> I didn't hate Captain Marvel. I saw that like on a. I didn't hate. Flight. I didn't hate Captain Marvel. A lot of people hate Captain Marvel, but they only hate Captain Marvel because they don't like Brie Larson. Oh, you why. stupid plant, ruining my my schemes. Why don't they like Brie Larson? Yeah. Um, it's a. It's basically a divide on the internet. A lot of people say she's ultra feminist and stuff, and they don't like it, and basically. She hates anybody with a penis. I don't know how true all this stuff is, but that's <laughs> that's generally the the whole rule of thumb that's going about. And people don't like Brie Larson, so. But I don't think there's anything wrong with Captain Marvel. I actually quite like the film. I do have issues with how they try to establish Captain Marvel in the MCU. Ooh. I feel like they try to race Captain Marvel into the MCU and sort of a. A backdoor establisher is someone that's been there for a long time, and she's really yeah, super important. That she was, was my, more rough than my, my issue with her. But apart from that, hey, hang on, I need to catch up in the chat here. I'm not one of these rude people that ignore everyone. Brave Blitz, I'm here. I watch movies occasionally, but not often. But I bet you've still seen. I don't watch movies. Just people, people, just watch movies. Watch movies. Probably seen more than me, don't you? <laughs> no, that's Batman. Yeah, that's I used to, I used to be really big into watching movies, and then it all just kind of fell off. Oh no, I'm still in, I'm still in watching I'm a movies. gamer. I play video games. I watch... Yeah, I, I used to think I was a gamer until I was asked to make a top ten list of games that came out in 2020, <laughs> and I've only played three. I um, I'm a gamer. I like anime. I watch movies. I watch excessive amounts of TV shows. Um, you you can do it all. I don't really see why people struggle. The best DC Comics movie is The Dark Knight. I I mean I will I wouldn't argue that it it could be the the best. But there, I haven't seen every DC Comics movie to make that assessment for myself yet. Well, Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. Well, I mean, it's pretty commonly accepted that it's the best Batman movie. So, if you think it's the best Batman movie, it's probably going to be the best DC movie because. But I personally like Batman Begins. I, I actually really, really like Batman Begins. I think it's a good origin story. I like how they done it. Um, I, I like the Dark Knight as well. Um. I don't as much like Dark Knight Rises. That's a bit. Uh, um, I feel the way they done Bane. They, they done they done Bane dirty in that film. He was really good, but how Bane ended in that movie was he was he was done dirty. Is that Sunblade? Yeah, Sunblade what? got first last race. Who who said Luigi guy? I don't know. It's not me. Man. It's people in our Dude. chat, Sunblade. It's people in our chat, so you need to be nice to the the viewers. <laughs> I, I don't care, man. <laughs> oh, it's Mario Kart. There is no nice here. Son of a... Mushroom right into a green shell. Oh. fan freaking tastic. So, Sunblade, you're a man of culture. You have seen movies. What would you say is the best DC movie? Would you say it was... Yeah. Dark Knight? Best DC movie. Yeah, Dark Knight is uh, very, very good. Uh, give me some time to think about it. What's, uh, what DC movies are there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Green Lantern is not one of them. Uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean Green Lantern is amazing? Ryan Reynolds gives his best performance his career in that film. It's, 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 not, a bad, it's, a, it's not a bad movie, but uh, it's definitely not the best. <laughs> oh, uh, oh sounds like that was joking. It's awful. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I somewhat enjoyed it. I somewhat enjoyed it, but uh, I, w I wouldn't say ever that it's great or even the best DC movie. Did you enjoy it in that sort of a, it's so bad, it's kind of good way? <laughs> mm, I, I think I have to rewatch it, man. It's, it's been so long. I've been to the cinema when it came out in Germany. Yeah. Years ago. 
I mean, I really like Ryan Reynolds, so sometimes if I really like an actor, it can somewhat carry a film for me. Um, and I do really like Ryan Reynolds, but I just think it's funny how in Deadpool 2, he basically went back and assassinated yeah. Ryan Reynolds for even considering making Deadpool, uh, making Green yeah, Lantern. Yeah, that was amazing. I thought that was yeah. funny. Um, but yeah, but no, I would, I would actually probably say I really, really, really like Batman Begins. Like, I really like it a lot, but... I, I can see why people would say that The Dark Knight is, um, is the best DC movie. I mean, Heath Ledger basically became iconic as being the Joker after that. Although, yep. I hate saying this, I, I've always said this though, I don't know if his performance would have got as much praise lavished upon it if he hadn't died. I, I'm not I'm not like downplaying the role, I'm just saying that I think what happened with Heath Ledger after that movie put a lot more eyes on his performance. I think so. Say if he had, I I won't disagree with that. I don't think, I don't think that it improved the performance. I I do believe it improved the reception of the performance, but I think he still would have been recognized even if even if that tragic incident hadn't happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But like I say, I'm not downplaying his thing just at that point. People wouldn't even weren't even looking at comic book movies for Oscar nominations and stuff like that. Um, so I'd have been surprised if they even... Yeah, people were like in geek circles that talk about things like that would have probably lavished praise upon him. But I'll be honest, when I first seen The Dark Knight, me and Julie went to see it in IMAX. And it was my first time going to IMAX. And I walked out bitterly disappointed. I actually hated the movie. I thought it was terrible. Um, then I rewatched it at home on blu-ray and i actually loved it i don't know if it was just you know how the imax screen is kind of curved i was right on the outside edge and i thought it looked terrible like it looked bad watching on screen the cinema was quite noisy people were annoying um i mean i've only ever been to a noisy cinema apart from this one time in the uk i've been to a noisy cinema twice and it was when i was on holiday in america and i'm like why the fuck are you people clapping at this movie just sit quietly (laughs) and watch the fucking film like people are literally cheering at scenes during the films whooping and hollering sunblade i don't know what it's like in germany but we sit we watch the movie and we enjoy the movie yeah, we shut the fuck up. Yeah, movies. I, I mean, like, there was see the scene in Batman Begins where Bruce pulls up at a party and he jumps into a fountain with two of the girls. Uh, it's when he's trying to play up the whole party boy thing to make sure people don't um, think he's Batman. Yeah, Julie went off her head. There was guys in the cinema literally wolf whistling the girls, clapping their hands and going, you go, Bruce, and I'm like... Gonna shut the fuck up and watch the fucking film. In Britain, we would <laughs> ragdoll you out the cinema. What are you doing, man? Like the ushers would literally in Britain, the ushers would come and tell you to shut the fuck up and watch and watch the film. But like it was the same thing happened because we were at Florida and we went to the cinema and Universal Studios. And um, after we saw Batman, we went to see Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith because that had come out at the same time. And mm-hmm. again, it was the same thing. Like people were actually acting as they were watching a live theatre performance where the actors could hear their reception it's like they can't fucking hear you shut up and watch the movie yeah people cheer a lot in america when watching movies yeah but but why but see again i don't know again germany's quite a sensible place um so i don't know if you guys are the same with us people who are on a plane and when the plane lands they applaud why the fuck are you applauding are you applauding the fact you didn't die what the fuck's the applause for (laughs) it's like what the fuck? You just like to clap our hands, man. I don't, know what to tell I, you. I, I don't get it. I really, I, I don't fucking get it. Yeah, good point, Julie. A taxi driver takes you back home. You don't sit there and go, clap, clap, clap. Well done, mate. You, you got me back. Thanks for the Uber. You know what I mean? <laughs> but with a plane driver, you're like, oh, yes. A, a plane driver, they've gone pilots. Oh, that's right, um, yeah, but applauding and shit. Nah, I don't get it. I don't Maybe get it. Maybe because Americans are triggered by planes. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell you're getting at there, but I, I don't want to oh. <laughs> delve. I do not want to delve into that one. He said, I don't even know. I don't know if he was being dark comedy funny, but I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm staying the fuck away from that one. Either I'm overthinking it or you were meaning exactly what I was fucking thinking. Probably, but uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe yo, Zora, what's up? Something's always been done. Who's here? Uh, Pom's always in the chat. Hey, Pom. Um, all right, cool. Sorry, I, I, I will. I, I catch up on chat between races. Um, Dude, that 
Bullet Who Bill. Who's the best villain in Batman? The best villain in any Batman, in my opinion, honestly, was Jack Nicholson's Joker. I just, he, he's amazing. Um, funny how, as an American, this is so normal. But people being noisy in the cinema, yes. Well, stop it. Just, just stop it. Stop it. That's <laughs> like clapping in an airplane. Tom Zord gets it. That's just so nineties. What? Is that true, Sunblade? Did you applaud the planes in the nineties, but then just kind of stop? Uh, no, no, I don't do that. Why should I do that? Yeah, um... they're doing their job exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. E exactly, e exactly. Hold on a second. Du applaudierst auch nicht, wenn ein Flugzeug landet, oder? Hey, yeah, okay. My, girl my girlfriend has the same reaction. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Why are you clapping? Why are you clapping? It's like seriously. Um, why do people even go to the cinema now? Well, I mean, you go to the cinema for the experience. You go to the cinema for getting out of your house. I mean, unless you're a very ignorant person. To catch COVID. Or you to catch have... COVID. Well, that's true. Mrs. Hazing with the snark. <laughs> um, I like Mrs. Hazing. But, no, but in, in all seriousness, you, it depends where you live. Like, I have neighbours. I have someone that lives next door to me and someone that lives above me. Even though I'm in a house, it's called a four and a block masonette thing, right? So I can't sit and watch a movie with surround sound blaring and all the rest of it because I actually am considerate and I care about my neighbours not having their lives disturbed by me watching a movie. So some things you want to go and feel massive, bassy explosions, etc. And that's why you go to the cinema. Um, there is still a place for the cinema, even though you can pirate movies and legally download pirated movies or whatever you want to say just use whatever terminology you want there's still a place for the cinema in this day and age I think, I don't know if you guys agree with that but I, I I'm a huge it. fan of the movie theatre experience you mean, like, you mean you like popcorn? no, <laughs> I, I like going into a theatre with a very large screen watching, you know uh, mostly action movies like comic book and action movies because yep. they're spectacle films yep and those should be seen on something the size of a freaking building. Yep. Well, well, I, I, I just see love this as a, a one thing. And though. the chairs are super, super comfy. Well, I have you know? noticed this now, but you have to pay the extra money and go to like my cinema in Glasgow has a couple of different screens. They've got standard screens, and then they've got these special ultra max screens that are like 4K resolution. You have to go and see the cinema now on those big fancy screens because I've noticed when I went to see the Avengers Endgame, I went to see it twice. And the first time I saw it in the standard screen, because I had one of those unlimited passes where you can just go to the cinema as much as you want for a monthly fee. Um, but they only entitle you to go to like standard viewings, or you can pay about three pounds extra and go to the super duper fancy one so the first time i went to the standard screen and honestly it looked washed out to me the colors weren't very bright it just didn't look that great next time i went i paid the extra money and it was like watching a f my 4k tv at home but blown up to the size of a cinema screen so i will say that the experience can differ depending on what type of projectors your your actual cinema provider is using right what about you, know, uh, Sunblade? Are you a fan of the actual cinema experience? Yeah, I am. I am. He's concentrating. Absolutely. He's like, I don't talk. Yeah, don't talk absolutely. No, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> can you hear me, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What was the last film you seen in cinema? Can you remember? Oh, wow. Uh, thanks to COVID, I can't. Um, I have to think about this. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Goddamn um, COVID. Was it, was it Star Wars? Uh, oh. Um, Rise of Skywalker, I'm not sure. Where you did you leave the cinema that day happy or disappointed? Um, <laughs> disappointed, yeah. Yeah. So the general the general Star Wars reception these days, um Oh my god that bomb, get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, oh I hope you do not have a mushroom. Oh oh get don't you dare something! You fucking sound like you bastard! <laughs> oh you bastard! Right on the fucking light! Oh, I hate you! I hate you. Oh, you know you know what you did. You know what you did. I hate you. Of course I know. Oh, you, you <laughs> it's my oh god. Get over it. Oh my tea's cold, I just drunk cold tea. That's I'm trying to was. think I'm trying to think the last time oh. I went to the movie theater. Last movie I saw was Sonic, man. That's fine. I think it might have been Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to catch up on this chat, right? I need to be not one of these rude people. Blah, 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 blah. I'm clapped and I'm proud, okay? Oh, catch COVID. Oh, yeah, you should download Raid Shadow Legends. It's mm -hmm. good stuff. Yeah. Uh, yep. Disney messed up in the Star Wars movies. Most people don't like it. I agree. 
I agree. 100% I agree. Disney, Star Wars killed it. They've destroyed the franchise. Completely, 100% destroyed the franchise. I actually think the last cinema movie I've seen, we obviously, me and Julie went and we saw, oh no, in fact, it wasn't, um, what did we go and see? We went, to, it was Joker. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was Joker. Oh, I bought it on Blu-ray. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I went to see the Joker. I've never watched, but funnily enough, I've never watched Joker since. I, I, I mean, I, I enjoyed it, but I think it was a massively overhyped movie. Like it was, it was, it was. No, we've never watched it again. It was decent. I still want to watch it again to see if I receive it differently. But um, it was like Taxi Driver. Oh man! It, it was like Taxi Driver and King of Comedy. It's like if you'd seen a lot of these older films, then. I don't think you could walk away from Joker saying it was a cinematic masterpiece that had pulled, that had kind of done things that no film had ever done before, because, well, it, it clearly did do things that other films had done before, because half the plot was Robert De Niro's Taxi Driver. Um, I, don't <laughs> know, I don't know what you guys think of Joker. I mean, I'm not saying it was a bad film, but I, I, I honestly, I think it was so overhyped. Um, to me, it felt like a movie about a guy with mental illness, and then they decided halfway through filming, let's call him Joker and make this a Joker movie. It didn't feel like the, the idea came first to make it a Joker movie. If that makes sense, um, yeah. I, I feel like the script was adapted to make it a movie about Joker, rather than it was a film written to be a Joker movie. Hopefully that makes sense. You said you've seen it, Sunblade. What was your views of? Uh, I've Joker? not seen it yet. I just bought it on Blu-ray, and oh, oh my god! Well, I never gave any spoilers there. Luckily enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, I'm not saying it's a bad film. But if you're someone who's quite a cinemaphobe, um, and you've seen quite a lot, a cinemaphile, sorry, and you've seen quite a lot of these movies um, that it's kind of based on, or based around, or inspired by, I don't think you'll walk away from it thinking, wow, this is like the best movie of the last 10 years, the way people made it out to be. Mm. Oh, Alec, oh, Alec man. Oh. Alec, you sat in the fence, you've not, you've not given your opinion yet. I haven't seen Taxi Driver or Joker, but my thought on the process is if you're making a movie that clearly is an inspiration from another movie, you can't make a claim that you're doing something that no one's ever done before. Well, the thing is, the the, the director himself says that the film is heavily inspired by Taxi Driver and um, King of Comedy. He, I didn't know this until afterwards because I tried to stay away from spoils about it and stuff. Um, and like my first thought when I walked away from it was... Well, it's not very good. We went to see it with Julie's friend. She, she's a nurse and she was she was like, you just don't understand. You just don't understand mental illness. And I'm like, I do understand mental illness. My whole point is it's, it seems like a film about mental illness more than it's a film about the Joker. So why did they make it about Joker? <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, exactly. Uh, my wife's just saying I've been diagnosed with stress, anxiety and depression, but I don't understand mental illness. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, where are we? Right, Star Wars. Blah, 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 blah. Try to catch up here. Raid. Shadow Legends. Download now. Right, not Best game ever. Right, CW Raph is saying not that good of a movie. I hope he's talking about Joker because I, I to a sense, degree is... I mean, something can still be good and be overhyped and that's the way I feel Joker is, if you know what I mean. Um, it's not a bad movie. It's just overhyped. No law. I'm telling this to the chat. No law seems to think the cinemas will not make it back from COVID, I disagree. Yeah, but that's I'm, a really I, hot take. I side, I side with Nolar on this one. The business aspect of it, especially with AMC, which is like the world's largest. It's like AMC and Regal. AMC was five billion dollars in debt, just starting to come around, turning a profit from their uh, from their AMC Stubbs program when um, COVID hit. It basically has crippled them. Uh -huh. Right. I didn't know that. What's the Stubbs program? What's that? It's like it's like that unlimited watching thing. Oh, okay. They right. just call it their Stubbs program or all access Stubbs or I don't know. Okay. Well, in uh, in the UK, it's a a cinema chain called Cineworld. I think they might be owned by one of these American companies, and you pay mm -hmm. them you pay them fifteen ninety nine a month, and you can go to as many movies as you want. But if you go to see one movie, it will cost you. 10 pounds so basically for the cost of you going to see well for less than the cost of you going to see two movies you can buy this unlimited cinema pass and you get people that would go and buy it and they'd go and see like multiple movies per day um 
I mean, me and Julie would... Well, I mean, I don't think we went that much. I think we tried to make an effort to go at least once a week so that we got value for money. Um, but for £17, so like I say, just under the cost of going to the cinema normally twice, you get an unlimited pass. So a lot of people were just like, you know what? I'll maybe go to the cinema three times a month. It's going to save me money. I'll buy it. But then obviously you got people that are like, I'm going to live in the cinema now. So I did wonder how that was going to affect the bottom line. A bit like Microsoft with Game Pass, if you know what I mean by that. Like, when you start giving people a la carte access to something and not charging that much of a fee, you do start to wonder how they're making money out of it. Well, the theater makes money off of it based on concessions. If you're there, you know, like, I'd say 60% or more of a theater's income is based off concessions. Yeah, but I'm one of these people that take a bag with me and take stuff from the outside. <laughs> like... Right, but there's... there's... I used to work for a movie theater. There's not really that many people that do that. Seriously? Seriously. Are people stupid? <laughs> it's like... I mean, look at America in the year in the last four years and ask me that question again. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I already know your political views. I hate everyone. Republicans, Democrats, Pretty much. they all suck. <laughs> they do. Um... No, none of them have the right idea. I'm not saying I know what the right idea is, but it's clear after, you know, two centuries of this project that none of these people have the right idea either. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> the EU doesn't have the right idea either. That sucks. Damn it. That's the problem is nobody does. Oh my god. What? Who was that? Who was Sunblade. What? Sunblade. Question. What? For the, for the list, uh... You said not uh, you, you the one that you given as example has SSB Kark and Goku in 2020, right? But you said to include units from Global and J or JP and Global in 2020. So shouldn't we no, include? I, I I didn't say that, but uh, okay. No, but you showed the list. You showed. No, what? I didn't show a list. <laughs> oh no, that was Sora. Never mind. I'm Wait. being a dumbass. I thought that was you. you so should we include uh, should we include cooler and stuff as well? Uh, I will look into the chat. Uh, I will respond in 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll catch yeah. you later. Then. Hi, Gail. <laughs> Hi, Gail. Bye, Gail. I just left. If you said hello to anyone, he just jumps in and doesn't even say anything. Um, GN, why are you mentioning that? Why are you mentioning Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku is not Z tier? Lol, that was a trash global first unit. Who, who was talking about that? Did I miss that in chat? Um, well, I, on, on Twitter. Like Soar published a tier list where he said that uh, Goku, Kalkan Blue Goku is Z tier above Gohan. And I was like, what is that? I don't agree with that. Above Gohan? Yeah, above Gohan. Like Gohan in B tier or A tier or something. And yeah. Uh, see, I, I Kal like. Blue Goku in the highest tier. Um, see, yeah. I like Super Saiyan Blue Kalkan Goku. I think people unnecessarily shit on him, especially Ginyu. Um, but there's no way I would put him above, like. Like he's not he's not the top tier. I think he's a good unit. Yeah. And I think he's quite yeah. undervalued by a lot of people, and I think he deserves to be higher than a lot of people give him credit for. But he's not top tier. Like if the top yeah, right, if the right. top tier is Kula, Gohan, um, Super Saiyan Four, Gogeta, uh, Frieza, and maybe Android Seventeen after his easy A. If that is your top tier, and Beerus as well, I put Beerus up there. Um, then no, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken at most, and I mean at most, can go on the tier below him. But even then, he might be the next tier down from that. Um, but I still think people, if you're running at Z tier, A tier, B tier, if that's if that's how your list is working, A or B is fine for Kaioken Goku, but he's oh, definitely not Z. No, no chance. Yeah, no way. Yep. That's that's what I was saying. What soda was this? I hate lightning bolts. Italian like soda, so Italian soda so or German soda? Yeah, uh, Italian. Okay. Yeah, Italian soda hates Gohan. So, naturally, he's uh, down there for him. That makes no sense. Uh, I mean, I don't particularly like Jiren as a character. I think he's a boring-ass character, but I can't deny he's one of the best LRs in the game. Yeah. Um, my own personal favorite LR, I've said this many, many times, is the GoBros. I still think, I don't get mm -hmm. why people don't rate them higher, they're just so good. This red shell, man, burn in hell, Kane. Wow. I'm sorry, Sublet. Oh my god, it's like <laughs> the last race, too. Um, like, right before the shortcut, someone hit me with a green shell, and I got, like, blessed. I got bombed by fire! 
Mother froggers. Right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. Son wait, of a bitch. Wait, what's happening? Please tell me not to use a finish. Oh, this is not the last lap. God damn it. I thought this was the last lap. Wait, hang on, hang on. Whoa. Whoa. Bing, 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 Oh, bing. my God. Oh, what have I done? Ah, oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, you... Who was that? Who yep. was that? Who was that? I was about to get Sunblade and some bastard hit me with a red shell. Motherfucker. Chat. No, no, not me. It's only people from in here, so it must be one of you. I hate you. Whoever it was, I hate you. You're not my friend. No, 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 no! Man! Oh, this game sucks. I hate this game. I hate this game. I'm going to start playing a different game on stream. I'm going to play Pong. What? Who's Pong. first? Pong or Breakout. <laughs> Sunblade, no way. <laughs> hey, get get the hell out of here. This Ooh, is I pulled it up into 4-3 at the end. Wait, oh my wait, wait. god. James won. Oh my I got god. ahead at the last second. <laughs> James won. James won. <sighs> Oh no, James beats Sun really the number one. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to catch up with us. Super Saiyan, I've seen that. No, he doesn't. I agree. Sora, Sora literally bitched about Janimba being next easy, literally only because he is guard. Sora values damage only units. He has, he has a Redditor, to be fair. Can you? <laughs> when, 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 it, when, when it comes down to valuing units, Redditors, if you're into DPS, that's all you care about. So they do value units differently. So. You're not wrong. Um, his defense is bad. That's not why he's top tier. His defense isn't bad. Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku. All you need to do is build him up, and he's not that bad defense. Um, build him up. Build him up early, and then you're good to go. Can you? Mind you, we still don't even know Janimba's kit. That's fine. We'll skip that. Italian Sora. Why the Sora? I'm trying to catch up this chat. Right, there's nothing for me to catch up on. There's nothing for me to catch up on. I have about me up. being built different, man. You suck. <laughs> James, James is built different. Yeah, James is built on this idea of fiber. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. You're laughing. You don't even know what that means. <laughs> Sounded funny, man. It made me laugh. Basically, I'm saying that you've got the same build as the side of a five dollar bill. Oh. I'm, ca <laughs> I'm calling you a skinny bastard, basically. Well, foot long. So like at Subway, five dollar foot long, right? No. Oh. No. I mean, I mean, you'd fold like paper, like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he is. Yeah. I actually think he walks out. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm okay, but I don't don't exactly have the build of a linebacker. I'll tell you what that. Ah, right. So you're one of these guys that goes to the gym, goes to the gym, goes to the gym, and you can't build. Yeah, muscles. I go to the gym, so I don't look like a little boy. That's why. Ah, no, Julie. Some people's body types just don't let them bulk up. I'm not wrong. No, I'm not. Does it matter if you were a personal trainer? I don't know. There's like a thing called mesomorphic and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm a meso and like Ecto is like the skinny boy one. Yeah. I'm like in between. Right. Which means you can build muscle but it's just harder for you than somebody who's the middle one. And I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm the other one, the fat one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fat one. Alec Hunter, fire that red shell, Alec Hunter. Not now, not now, Alec Hunter, just fire that shell. Fire that shell at the person in front of you. Oh, you've got three more, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, you dick, fuck! Hate you, Alec Hunter. I know you do. Ah, uh, fucking. Someone stole my mushrooms. Cockstain. Oh, 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 here we go, 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 here we go. Oh, oh, what did Sunblade do to you? First. Oh first. shit. Off the edge. Uh, may have been Sunblade. I don't know. What position are you in, James? Oh, second. Yeah, it was James, Julie. Julie just called you a prick, James. <laughs> I don't know I what apologize. he did to he said he, he, he said he apologizes, but he doesn't sound like he meant it. <laughs> she just called you a tip munch. It's a Julie word. I'm called worse. Oh. <laughs> she got me back. Uh, she just shouted, fuck you, do you like that bitch? <laughs> right. Oh my god, yeah, she screwed me, man. I'm like in 8th now. I'm 10th. Uh, 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 fuck off! Why, why, why? <laughs> oh, oh damn it. Oh, oh, some lady's flying, man. He's gone. Oh, now everybody's just hitting me with everything. He's oh, off the edge on that one, too. Oh, 
Same. Damn. This can all go and Oh eat. my god. Squirty squirt squirt, squirty squirt squirt. You can all take my squirty squirt squirt. Got the bullet. Third Put place. my controller down. Oh man, this hazing screwed me, man. I'm in. Oh, that <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Super core is where it belongs. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken Goku has like 120k fully built up. Pretty unimpressive. <laughs> Building up takes forever too. Oh, Twitch person, that no, sucks. I'm not agreeing with these people. The only place Super Saiyan is in the last global chain battle. Yes, he was good in that. It's a pretty chill stream. There's nothing chill about this stream. It's only because I'm not drinking. I'd be swearing more. There should be more people here. They're just... Who's Twitch person? I had Jiren on my JP account, but I lost him because I could link my account to Google account, and now I have nothing. Now I have nothing! That's a shame. Someone give this man an account. <laughs> Need to, uh, get some Smash going on this channel. Smash sucks. Smash I sucks love Smash, dude. They it's played it before. No. And Akuba, like... No. Humiliated me. I think we need to get... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The, some... the people who are good are really good. I just play for fun, so... Talent has destroyed me before, so... <laughs> I, I, I'm not really, I mean... Like, I'll be honest... To be honest... To be honest... I don't know where the box is. I do have Smash. I just don't know where the box is for it right now. I'll show you that I, Smash is, like, here. Oh, no, it's digital. I've got Smash digital. I've got the pass for part one and part two, so I've got Sephiroth. I still haven't bought part two. I've got Sephiroth. What? Yeah, but we can still play them. Beep, bop, 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 right, this time some legit are going down. Yes, I would rather play Street Fighter on Shit, yep. Five Nine. I agree. Oh, I'm terrible at Street Fighter. Well, get good. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter is hard, like Mortal Kombat and like Fighters, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, like, I can somewhat play, but something about Street Fighter, I just can't. I find like Mortal Kombat is harder to play than Street Fighter, so like, Street Fighter is easy, to me, Street Fighter is easier to get into than Mortal Kombat. I don't know if you agree with that, Sunblade, but I've just found <laughs> Street Fighter to be infinitely more accessible than Mortal Kombat. It depends on what uh, what's hard for you. Like the combos in Street Fighter are harder because they are like one frame combos, two frame combos, and you don't have that in Mortal Kombat. Um, but Mortal Kombat's got a lot more button combination style combos, if you know what I mean. Like, mm, yeah, but that's not really the difficult thing in fighting games. <laughs> well, I mean. That's for me. <laughs> just, <laughs> no, I think yeah, Mortal just... Kombat, I could spam and like crank out a combo, but in Street Fighter, it's not the case. No, but you can't spam though. If you spam, you'll die. Like people that actually know how to play games, like when they see you spamming things, they're like, "Haha, <laughs> this guy's going to be easy to beat" because they know how to count yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Like if you're just jumping in Street Fighter, like I only need one button to win. <laughs> Yeah, you... Oh, God. I hate lightning bolts! Yep. Lightning needs to get banned. Lightning sucks balls. Oops, who was that? Did I just run into somebody? Nope. Yeah, me. <laughs> it wasn't you, Julie, it was Alex. How? Why are you getting angry? Michelle is coming. It's because of Sunblade. <laughs> how, how is he cheating? <laughs> oh, do, you know, do you know what Julie's using as evidence that you're cheating, Sunblade? Me? Yeah. She said he's cheating. What? I says, what evidence have you got that he's cheating? She went, he's German. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Take it, take it, take it. Oh my god. Oh, I just passed something in the line. I don't know who it was. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. That red show. Burn in hell. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not sorry. Oh, I am kit. What is this shit with James winning races? Like, this is built different, man. That's it. James. That's it. James. 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 Seriously. Just. Just stop. Just. Just stop. <laughs> Can't man, look at this crown, it looks so good on my head. Julie says, stop letting your little brother or little sister play for you and pretend <laughs> it's you. I have a little brother, so touche. Mortal Kombat has a block button. 
Well, in Street Fighter, you just pull back. I mean, you don't really need to have a block button in Street Fighter. You just press back <laughs> and you block. Um, unless I'm wrong, Sunblade, and I forgot how Street Fighter works, you can just pull back and you block. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, you can cross up enemies, so you have to turn the other way. It's not that easy, but uh, yeah, you're, you're right. Did you guys like Street Fighter Five, or didn't you care for it? I like Street Fighter Five. Um, Street Fighter Four is infinitely better. Yes, but I like Five. My favorite Street Fighter is Street Fighter Alpha Three. I love Street Fighter Alpha Three. Drake, I use the Circuit Special. You like Street Fighter Two, really? What one? Then the one that's got like Balrog and Vega and that in it. Nah, that's the World Warriors. Are oh, the new the new challengers? Yeah, as the basic one doesn't have Vega and Balrog and that in it. You fight against them, but you can't go them. Do you like free Sunblade? Street Fighter 3? Uh, no, no, I cannot play this. Um, I started with 4. Right. Did you never play Street Fighter Alpha 3? No? Uh, no, not yet, but I have the game. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, you will have it because is it not on that Street Fighter collection? Um. Alpha is on a Street Fighter collection, I think. Yeah. But I haven't touched it so far. Yeah, it's my favourite one, I like it. I think it's because it brought the characters from Final Fight in. Because it brought the characters... Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like C Cody and yeah, stuff. Yeah, Cody, Cody and Haggard and... Um, Are you kidding me? Guy and stuff. I was a big fan when I was growing up. When I was younger, I was a big fan of Final Fight. I like... I really like 2D scroll and beat, beat em up games, so... Stuff like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, even the Simpsons arcade game and stuff like that. Like that was my childhood. I, I loved that. You'd walk in and get four of your friends, and you could oh. actually all four play at the same time on the arcade cabinet. That was awesome. Yeah, Turtles was brilliant. Of course, really. of course Kane tried to time the retro. <laughs> ah, like you're old enough yeah. to remember playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the arcade. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, I I have a. Uh, memory of playing, I think it was the one where you start off the first level's the apartment, you're going to save April. Hang on, April! <laughs> yep, that's, I remember playing that one of my one of my parents' friends got married and they had their reception downstairs at this place where they had arcade machines in the area that we were having the reception and I just spent the whole night playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, great game. I think I was like seven. Awesome, awesome. Oh my god! Oh, that was close. What, that red shell not hit you? Motherfucker, I said um, after you. Yeah, some, someone, oh, stole you my, oh, you someone stole my banana. <laughs> Fuck everyone, <laughs> Julie passed me, James passed me, Alec passed me. He's can all rot in fucking hell. <laughs> you like that red shell hazing? <laughs> fucking goddamn son of a bitch. He's, there's the code. Sorry for my anger, but these bastards just... Fuck you, <laughs> motherfuckers. No, it's so hilarious to see you rage after you destroy Talon. What? <laughs> uh, I don't like yeah, Talon's different. You, you, you made him rage quit, so... Yeah, I, I never rage quit, though. That's, that's Twitch the... person with the uh, Twitch Prime sub over on 5.9. Oh, yeah, Twitch person. Twitch person, thank you for your, twi up. for your Twitchy sub. Twitchy thank sub, you, Twitch Twitchy person. person. Watch this Twitch person will secretly turn out to be Mr. Beast, and he's debating whether they give us a million quid. <laughs> if, it is you, Mr. if it is you, Mr. What Beast, quid? just make sure you check out my bio and check out my Twitch channel and give me the million quid. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, remember, if you're sub to 5.9 Gaming, you can access the VIP chat on Discord. So make sure to join the Discord right here. Here's the link. And... Yeah, enjoy chatting with the 5.9 crew. Sunblade. We just broke 2,000 uh, members over there on the 5.9 yes. Gaming Discord. Right. right. That's cool. amazing. So, so Sunblade, who, um, when, do, when does my picture get moved up on the, the bio section of the website? <laughs> mm, we'll see. Mm. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just talk to Hydros. He will do it. All right, okay. Don't hit him with a red shell, he's thinking. Uh, it might happen a little faster. 
It's like Sunblade routinely comes into this chat. He, half the time he doesn't even chat and he just watches and he knows that I get angry and I've got a little mission when I stream on my own channel. And if Sunblade's ever watched me, he knows exactly yeah. what it is. It's kill Sunblade. I literally play the game constantly going, I need to kill Sunblade, I need to kill Sunblade. <laughs> like, generally, that's my mantra. If you watch me playing while he's playing, it doesn't matter if he's in ninth place and I'm in tenth. I don't care about coming first. My whole aim is kill Sunblade. <laughs> it's like, just... That's what I, I, I already noticed. I already noticed. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's because you just you, you just like to beat me. It's like kill him. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. Yeah, well, here we go. Boost. Boom. I bet he's in first. He is in first, and he's about a mile ahead. I can see his wee stupid metal Mario on the map. You always know it's him as well because he's always a Metal Mario driving a caterpillar bug thing every single time and he's got silly <laughs> wee wheels and you're like, God damn it, I've tried that build as well. It just does not work for me. Get good. Oh, get good. Oh, <laughs> well, the hazings, sixth and fifth. Sunblade, I throw down a challenge to you. I want you to play Castlevania Symphony of the Night, I'll play Castlevania the Symphony of the Night, we will put up a split screen and we will race each other to see who can finish the game faster. Stream it on 5.9, uh, we'll do a speedrun challenge, see who gets there first. I, I never speedrun this game before, I have to neither have, I, neither have I, neither have I, we would both go into <laughs> it, both go into it dry, no lube, and see how we go on. You can't, you can't practice for everything. You need to yeah, yeah, that's right. Go. That would, that would take way too long. Yeah, yeah. That's not like Super Battle Road, like three, four tries and then I'm done. <laughs> oh, right. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, I'd probably die. I'll be honest. I've never actually completed Symphony of the Night because when you complete what? it, I've never completed that. I've, I've done the first half, but you know how it reverses the castle and you've got to do it in reverse as Simon. I've never done that. So yeah. Oh, I'm, son of a. I haven't fully completed Symphony of the Night. I no, did. No, 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 I I did have I did have play reward credits, and I do have a Razor Kishi. So I used my play reward credits and I picked it up for my mobile. So I might actually play it at some point again. Mm, yeah, yeah, I bought it. I bought it too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't use it very often, but I've got this thing for my phone. Um, it's a decent pad, but. You just snap it on like that, and it basically makes your phone into kind of like a switch. But I got it more for emulation purposes than anything else because obviously mobile phones these days are pretty much the best thing to emulate consoles on. Um, yeah, right, right. You, you can actually, not promoting it, but you can actually emulate a Nintendo Switch on a decent Android. Um, I've seen it running, I've seen it working. It, plays flawlessly as long as you've got a decent pad you can play anything the switch has to offer on your i think it's like snapdragon 855 or above but it literally plays perfectly so yeah Obviously, i just noticed i'm not i'm not on the twitch team because you suck um yeah just just sent me your name your twitch name i think I'll take over. sunblade i think i sent that to you last night oh, oh okay yeah uh, like 20, 25 people sent me a DM last night. And I'm sure. Away, I'm sure. <laughs> Sun, Sunblade, see the person that added me to the Discord bot for Twitch? He forgot to add me for YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm not doing it myself. I have to ask no, the no. Uh, Discord manager again. Um, I, I know, uh, but you, you did. You asked him to add me for Twitch and YouTube, and he added me just for Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll talk to him. Because I don't have the access to the, the bot. Yeah, it would just be too much for you to manage. You've got all this other stuff to do as well. Yeah. So. yeah. This... If people don't know, Sunblade is the busiest man in Five Nine. Well, one of the <laughs> one of the busiest man men in Five Nine. Yeah. Instead of a busy tier list. <laughs> a busy tier list. I yeah. get I get the feeling that a lot of the uh, super core are really busy. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are. And right now, uh, you like my real life work is crazy. So uh, yeah. I didn't have time to respond to 25 people this morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to turn five nine into a multi million pound business so that Sunlight and everyone else can quit their day job. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So guys, remember if we, we bring out merch, you need to buy Sunblade undies. They're coming first. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm working. What the hell happened? Someone fell down. Who fell? Who fell down? Chat man, be ashamed. <laughs> if oh. I win now, this is ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. 
James changed his character to Metal Sonic, Metal Mario. Are you James? James from Metal Sonic. Shut up. I did. I had to. I had the flex. Ah. Oh my god. What? 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 what no. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Some idiot just hit me with a bullet bow. What was Julie? Motherfucker. I never I fucking said that. I never seen it was you. I don't look at my. Oh screen. shit. Right off the edge. Oh, you fucking right off the edge. Oh no. Oh. I was doing so damn well too. I was in like third place for the longest time. Yeah, I'm in last. Damn it. Oh. I'm in last. I hate that Fuck game. Rainbow Road. We hate Sunblade. Fuck Rainbow Road. Somebody wrote in chat. Oh no, they wrote we love Sunblade. I thought they wrote we hate Sunblade. How did I read love is hate? Hey, what? <laughs> Sunblade Don't came be second. Like that. Sunblade sucks. Right, we need to kill Sunblade. That's the target. Kill Sunblade. I'm going to enact my own, my own stream logic. We've got to target Sunblade and defeat Sunblade. Okay. Wait. Oh, I thought you you know that I can fire your ass, right? <laughs> for, for beating you at Mario Kart? Come on now. That's that's ta that's that's talent level pettiness. Come on, you don't want to go there. <laughs> Sunblade, you're better than that. You know you're better than that. Talon doesn't even play Mario Kart anymore because he feels getting defeated. It's like yeah, I just tried to intimidate you, but it didn't work. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from Scotland. It's hard to intimidate me. Talk about taking money away from me or something that'll intimidate me. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, okay. I, I I love uh, that people are using my emote here in the chat. Very nice. <laughs> Because Brave Blitz has maybe got something to do. I think it's in America right now. Is it not like three o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. So. Sorry, what was that? It doesn't matter. James answered me, so you're useless. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> James is an American that cares about America, unlike you. You don't even Dude, know. I... You don't even know the, the. I don't even know what the words are. Is it the the pledge, pledge of, of allegiance? allegiance? Uh, I know the Pledge of Allegiance. No, I should know because it was, you know, built into my indoctrination known as elementary school. God. Yeah, they had you sing it every morning. Every freaking morning. And I I went to uh, elementary school in the 80s, so there was, it was required. See, this is going to just, when I say these things, it's going to sound like I'm hating on America. And I really shouldn't because, like, I think about 90% I do that of, enough. I reckon about 90% of our viewer base is probably American, right? But I'm going to tell you something that I've always found weird. As a, as a non-American watching American TV, American sporting events, why the obsession with getting pop stars, etc., to come in and sing the national anthem? Like, you watch WrestleMania, wow. you literally watch WrestleMania, and it starts off with someone badly singing the American national anthem and it's like why I don't know I, I don't know if America the Brave is actually the national anthem I'm not quite sure it's America the beautiful you know well, whatever. yeah um the thing is like but why did it do I don't that? understand why the national anthem is is so like glorified here I don't know like I don't I don't see other countries like doing that like having their national anthem being played at the beginning of events it's it's strictly an American thing, as far as I know. Well, Unless I think, we played uh, America, fuck yeah, that that'd be more uh, appropriate. Yeah, I mean, Sunblade can probably confirm this, but generally in Britain, the national anthem will get played like if a British team wins in Formula One, then yes, they'll play the national anthem when they're up in the podium. Um, the Olympics, they'll play the national anthem if your 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 national team or whatever wins in whatever sport. But generally, we don't like play our national anthems just for shits and giggles yep. are you germany's the same sunblade right yeah it's, it's pretty much the same yeah yeah i mean i don't know if europe as europeans even though britain is no longer part of the european union and um, well <laughs> we are still part of the continent of europe oh, I, I wouldn't like to say we're a little bit more cultured that might offend people but <laughs> maybe we are <laughs> what do you reckon what do you reckon sunblade as europeans are we a wee bit more cultured or is that offensive um. Hmm. Oh, well, I would agree with you. Come, <laughs> come on, I, I agree with you. I don't lift my pinky when I drink tea. Neither do I. <laughs> I drink tea by the gallon, mate. It's like. <laughs> uh, no, I actually love tea. Not gonna lie. When I went to Ireland, it was so tasty. I'll tell you what I like about Germany. Germany give you beers and steins and they're these big massive like two and a half pint tumblers. So when you go to drink beer, you're getting like. 
two and a half times the average amount you would get from a normal. So that's a pint glass. If you look at my screen, that's a pint glass. These steins that you get are like two and a half times the size of this. So when you go to like Oktoberfest and stuff like that, you get absolutely shit faced. Um, man, imagine yeah. imagine being Gacha Talks, talking shit and chat, but not oh, yeah. man enough to step into VC. Gacha Talks is just a twat, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, Oktoberfest, the month of beer and sausages. Ain't that right, <laughs> Sunblade? Uh, come, come again? I'm Sorry? saying Oktoberfest, the, the, the month of beer and sausages. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've been there like three times in a row already. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, like going there. What, Julie? Yeah, I like, I like going there. Unfortunately, it uh, didn't take place uh, COVID. this year due to COVID. Yeah, yeah but COVID. Uh, when it happens again, I'll, I'll try to go there again. I hope you're just going for the beer and not the servers. That's all I'm saying, Sunblade. No, no, uh, I'll, I'll do everything. I'll dress, I'll dress up and, su and such. So, uh, yeah. Do you wear like leather hosing and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, of course, of course. Cool. I know they can carry a lot of beers, but a lot of men like those waitresses because their boobs are generally, like, hanging out, Julie. <laughs> you mean their eyes? Yeah, yeah, Julie, yeah right, right, Ju right, right. Julie's actually impressed by the waitresses at Oktoberfest because of the amount of beer they can carry at the one time. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's ridiculous. Like, that's whoa. so good. Oh. Uh, if you don't... Uh, yeah. The, the, the beer glasses are massive. Um, but, James, if you don't know what Oktoberfest is, there's actually a film called Beerfest. It's a comedy. You can watch that. They go to the Oktoberfest, and it gives you a bit of a glimpse of what Oktoberfest is. But, obviously, it's exaggerated because it's a comedy, but it still gives you an idea. Mm. Because I don't really have an idea of what it is. Stupid bullet, Bill. It's, it's basically a festival of drinking and beer. Sounds uh, good. And music. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Alex, like, I'm going. <laughs> Almost like a renaissance type of thing. I'm not really a beer guy. I'm not a beer guy either. Julie likes beer. She's more of a man than me when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, my I, wife's the same way. My <laughs> wife likes Guinness. <laughs> no way. His wife's the same yeah. way. I drink, I drink, like, fruity drinks oh, and... My. I'll drink vodka that's got like. Are you something? But like, I'll drink my vodka that's got like nice flavored mixer. I just don't want to drink alcohol that doesn't generally taste that nice. Beer just tastes like hops and gas. It's like, what's the point? <laughs> I'd rather drink something that's got a nice flavor. So for me, it's vodka and gin. I like vodka and gin. But I don't like straight vodka. I'm not one of those people. Whoa. So what is your drink of choice, Alec? Um, usually rum and coke, but if I'm drinking to get drunk, uh, I start with yeah, uh, a shot right. of vodka and end up with an empty bottle of vodka. Okay. Or not vodka, tequila, sorry. Although vodka is a good one too. I've generally always been the type of person that, this, this will sound pathetic, but... I have. I know people always go for me. It's ridiculous. People just target me all the time. Crits. I don't know why they do it. It's just what they do. Um, generally, I'm the type of person that believes. Okay, I'll I'll drop you out of this. Then I'll I'll bring you back in. I'm generally the type of person that believes. What's the point in drinking if you're not drinking to get drunk? You know, it's like why? Here you go. I mean. There's a difference between like drinking to just kind of chill out, relax, you know, get your buzz on, and drinking to get fucking drunk. Yeah, you, you want to drink to get hammered. That's that's what you want to do, man. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like drunk me. You don't like drunk you. you don't I mean... do not like drunk me. Why not? Do you have? Are you one of these people that I know that there's some people? Oh, I managed to get straight back in. That's so good. There's some people that I have uh, an issue with certain drinks where. Some drinks will make them grumpy. Some drinks will make them happy. Do you know what I mean? Not all alcohol like beverages will affect you in the same way. Do, do you have that? Do you have like a drink? No. I do. I no. Do. I just, I just don't like the, the loss of control that alcohol gives. I'm, I am absolutely a control freak. So, just diminished inhibitions and you know loss of motor control. They're just not my things. Why? That's fun. It's like, I'm a prude, dude. Sorry. I thought you were. I thought you were like an American version of me. 
You've let me down. Alex. <laughs> You've let me down. I don't. I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. Right? I could drink your ass under the table without a second thought. <laughs> you think? Oh. You think? You don't. You don't I don't know. think. I know. How do you know? How do you know? Because I can drink. I've done it before. I've I've drank everybody who's ever challenged me under the table. Uh, well, at my prime, like at my prime, I could smoke you under the table. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that was my old claim to fame. I could probably um, smoke you under the table too. Doubt it. Doubt it. <laughs> Genu genuinely down to it. There's a reason I had to stop. I was genuinely, without a joke, two and a half There, there are just two, some habits I two, can't afford. That's two, my problem. I was, I was two and a half ounce a week myself. I was bad. I had to stop. Aww. Those are to. rookie numbers. Shut up. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. Not in any planet in the world are those your rookie numbers. Oh. No chance. Um, <laughs> I was a fiend. Like... I was a fiend, an actual fiend, uh, but yeah, I had to stop. Is it legal over there? No, that's why I'm like whispering. Oh. <laughs> Just, um, nah. That's okay, I live in a state where it's not legal, so whatever. I mean, the thing is, crazily enough, it always bugged me. It's legal in places like Spain. Um, I don't think it's legal in Germany. I'm, I don't think it is. Somebody could probably tell me. Um, but, it isn't. No, it isn't, but... I always was under the impression that when it came to Europe, if it became legal in one European city or state or country, it would end up becoming legal across the whole of Europe. So I never understood why it was legal in Spain, because like Spain's part of the European Union, so we're kind of we're, we're kind of all supposed to have similar sort of a rules well, with stuff like that. Well, I mean, it's sort of it's sort of like the United States and its individual states. Like individual states have made marijuana legal. At the federal level, it's still very illegal. I but they'd in the that. individual states, no, not yet. Well, because see, that's that's crazy. Because I, I live, I live in Nebraska. Nebraska doesn't even have it legalized for medicinal purposes. Well, I once watched a documentary that said that there was dispensaries that could literally get a license, and I watched this whole thing about it. They could get a license from the local government that says it was legal for them to conduct a business doing what they done. They could run that business, and then three to six weeks later, the federal government could come in, take all their stuff, tell them they'd committed a felony, and try and charge them. Then they would get shut down. They'd have to go through this process to get it flung out of court. Yeah, they yada yada and it was just this vicious cycle of whenever the that was at the beginning government yeah yeah yeah. but like so they, they don't do that anymore no the the federal government is pretty hands-off about the whole thing they're leaving it up to states it became a state's rights issue for us right right i never knew that which don't get between anybody in the united states and their states rights issues merca <laughs> merca fuck yeah merca i love that movie i need to watch that again never watched it Shut up! Not, not, not even kidding. Are you actually being serious? You have yeah, not watched serious. Team America. How can you no. call yourself an American if you've not watched Team America? Dude, I am. I am the most non-American American I know. Me. Most, most of my entertainment that I choose to watch is from Britain, actually. Well, I mean, Britain does have the best comedy, like genuinely. You know, Britain, Britain does. Dude, have the Mrs. Best Brown's comedy. Boys. Shut up! Do not watch that. <laughs> do not, do not even bring <laughs> that utter garbage up in front of me are you being serious <laughs> i watched it i watched like four episodes while i was on vacation earlier this year and i don't know if it was just the four individual episodes i watched but i laughed my ass off the whole time i like we can't be friends anymore but like doctor who is a big one for me doctor, um, no no like i could actually give i could actually give you some scottish comedies to watch like still game and chewing the fat chewing the fat's mm -hmm. not that great but still game's really good um like it's actually hilarious the it crowd the it crowd's amazing julie literally I'm... said to me yesterday you should tell them to watch the it crowd um it's, it's such a funny comedy but mrs black books is another one that you should watch it's really funny um but mrs brown's boys is horrendous like, it's actually horrendous. It's the type of show that when it's on TV, I wish I had some sort of a device where I could gouge my eyeballs out temporarily and then replace them without pain. Mrs. Brown's Boys is horrific. Her mum likes Mrs. Brown's Boys. It's like an old person's comedy when they have no taste. Like, it's well, so goddamn I, bad. I am old and I am American, so I guess no, I'm Alec, the target demo. Alec, Alec, you're the same age as me, so you're not that old. Um, sorry, you don't get a pass you, on you, this one. You, maybe, you maybe keep holding because, on to that. Maybe it's because you're American and you don't understand a lot of things. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I won't argue with you there. Mrs. Brown's Boys is horrific. It's, oh God, it's like so Like I bad. said, the, the few episodes that I've watched, I laughed through, so any Any British people in this chat has to back me up at how goddamn horrific fake mrs brown's boys is um i need your backup right now because alec thinks 
he's been exposed to something. I think he was like exposed to some sort of a toxic gas or something that altered his mental perception. No, he thought just, Mrs. Just, just herbal. Was funny. It's all good. Not toxic, just herbal. Oh, mate. Honestly, Mrs. Brown's boys. Oh, oh you've hurt me. You've actually hurt me. You've wounded me to the core. Um, but no, I mean, stuff like Monty Python, uh, Faulty Oh, Monty Tower, Python's fucking classic. Faulty Towers. Um, I've seen a couple episodes of Faulty Towers. There's a bit of, uh, Sunblade, you still here? Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Do you, do, how popular is it in Germany, Faulty Towers? Because I've been told by people on holiday that Faulty Towers did become popular in Germany because of John Cleese doing the whole frog march thing and don't mention the war and all that crap did it actually did it actually ever get popular in germany or do you not know what it is uh what title can you say that again faulty towers uh might have a different name in germany it uh, happens sometimes uh send it, me the title and i will look it up it's john cleese do you know who john you know who john cleese is don't you um no i'm not like i have to say I have to that i'm not i'm not a big uh movie guy but uh yeah oh no it's a tv show Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I obviously don't know about it. Yeah. Right, okay. Right, go. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I like green shells and I cannot lie. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> yes. Oh, I just, I hate your James. Oh, you just. <laughs> <laughs> that, was on, that was on you, man. That was totally on you. I know, it was, re it was like redemption for hitting you still, but James, I hate you. I hate you. Wait, second, so there's, there's this 14 year old in my chat saying, uh, if you don't have to get your stomach pumped, you weren't drunk. Oh my. Yeah, I mean, like maybe, you, maybe, you, maybe, you, maybe you, don't, you, don't uh, maybe don't talk about drinking when you're 14, especially nah. when you know. I'm pretty sure a thimble of what I drink could put you under the table. No, I mean, I mean, like. You, you could literally have two drinks and have to get your stomach pumped because the alcohol could just be dodgy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, like, no, I've never had my stomach pumped, but I've, like, I've been in states and I've never got my stomach pumped. Like, one thing I've never done, though, is I've never blacked out. Well, no, actually, tell I did black out once. I was at a wedding, and um, me, me and Julie went to the wedding, and we didn't have any money. <laughs> but we had to go to the wedding, so the person who was getting married was handing out miniatures, um, to people for favors, you know how you give wedding favors when you go like mm -hmm. right, and they had like a big bucket of favors left, and I says it was my friend, it was my friend, he's no longer my friend. I shouted him and I says, look, you know I've came here with no money, right? And he said, aye. And I says, you've got all those miniatures back there. I've got no money to buy booze, and he went, all right, and he just brought me a big pile of them out. So I started like stanking straight vodka and stuff out of these miniatures. Um, I don't remember what happened at the rest of the wedding. I woke up in a bus on the way home, so <laughs> I guess I did black out once. <laughs> Um, but I was told that I was extremely funny at this wedding, and I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember anything, so I've got no idea what I what I'd done. But that's the only one time I can remember getting like actually blackout drunk. Have you blacked out much, Alec? Uh, I've never been blackout from being drunk. I had a an issue of syncope from a medical condition, but that's about it. What's what, what does that mean, syncope? Syncope is the actual techni ter technical term for when you black out. Well, you could have just, so you were just being a smart ass. You could have said that I blacked out and you went <laughs> syncope. I'm going to use this. Well, no, because like there's a difference between being like like blacking out drunk and actually just you know passing out. Oh yeah, yeah. Because well, like when you black out, when you black out when you're drunk, you just don't remember stuff. You're still functioning, like you just said. People told you you were funny at the party, but you don't remember. Yeah. That's, that, that's the one and only time it's happened to me. I mean, I've seen people that claim they've blacked out when they've made a lot of bad decisions, and you're like, nah, you're full of shit. You're just. But yeah, I I straight up passed out. I fell. I hit my head on a wall. I broke a toilet. Bounced off of a of a bathtub. Yeah, it was fun times. Sounds like an awesome night. I'm sure, you were dying to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, totally. Let's let's go for round two. I'm all about. Oh, come on, 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 oh, god damn it, I missed him, I missed him, I missed him! Mm -hmm. You seen that there, Sunblade, didn't you? I saw that, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Hey, like, did you take both mushrooms, man, when you were small? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why would you need two? <laughs> damn it! Because if I take two, it's not someone else from getting them, alright? <laughs> that was me! You gotta know how to play the game. Right, here we go. Oh. 
Oh my. There we go. That... I don't know where Sunblade came, but I think he came above fifth. Uh, six. Oh, yeah, boy! What's the official drinking age, 18 or 21? In my state, it's 21. In my, in my country, it's 12. You guys are talking about war stories about drinking. I drank for the first time this year. <laughs> well, that's because you're a baby. Uh, like, that's true. I think I, think... I remember the first time I drank. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't legal. In Scotland, in Scotland, you're illegally allowed to drink when you're 12. Seriously? Yeah. That's crazy. No, I don't believe that. 100%. I don't believe that. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I don't believe that. Have, have you never heard the things about Scotland? Like, it's at least, I know, I've heard, I've heard that in France, if you can see over the table, you can order a bottle of wine. Yeah, I mean, you're allowed to drink at 12 in Scotland. Um, as long as you order a large meal with it. So if you go to a bar at 12, as long as you order like a full meal, you're allowed to drink. <laughs> really? That's uh -huh. crazy. Yeah, so you just you just, you just uh, go into the bar, order like a, a roast at dinner, and ask them for a pint of beer with it, and you'll get it. Get this 12-year-old kicked up in the back near the dumpster. I just need another dollar for a pint, man. <laughs> I just need another quid. dollar. I just need another for dollar to buy a roast dinner so that I can get a pint of beer. <laughs> oh, Oh, these guys don't I actually. You, 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 you guys don't actually believe me, do you? You know. No. I mean? no. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's actually a scene from the In Between Us when they go to a, they go to a bar when they're like fifteen and he, he starts quoting a rule that there, there is actually a rule in Britain where if you're ordering a large meal and you're accompanied by an adult, you are allowed to order one drink if you're under the legal age to drink. Um, it's like. And if I wanted to, when my child is 12, 13, 14, if I choose to give them wine with their dinner, I'm allowed to do that as, as their parent. I'm allowed to make that choice. That's crazy. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> um, no. But you're allowed to. But that's do just it. because responsible parenting. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, yeah, there's a. I don't know. Germany's got a lower drinking age, I think. I mean, Spain, it's like 14 or 16 in Spain. I don't know if... It's unbelievable. What's the legal age for drinking in Germany? Is it 16 uh, or 18? Uh, I think it's six, It's 18 now. No, no, it's 18 now. Did it get increased? Because I know it was lower at one point. Same. I yeah, mean, it was 16, but I think 16. it's 18 now. Right. Yeah. I think Spain's still low. As far as I know, Spain is still... I don't know if that's because Spain is so dependent on the tourist industry. So they kind of want... Well, not, they don't want kids to go drinking, but they want parents to, like, be able to take their kids into bars, and it's easier if they've just got the drinking age being lower. But I know for a long time it was 14. And, Julie! Oh, God, that blue show. 14. It was 14 in Spain for a long time that you could just get drunk. You didn't need a parent with you or anything. You could just go and get drunk at 14. I mean, why would they, why would they have a different role? Oh, my God, Alec Hunter, I hate you with your bullet bill. Oh. Oh my god. Alec Hunter, you suck. You suck. I'm going Don't to blame me. It's, it's the item they gave me. I'm going to quickly pass off. this to Julie to go and deal with my kids. Anybody watching my stream, just to show you, I genuinely am wearing pyjamas, look. Mario Kart trousers. I am 100% wearing pyjamas. But Mrs. Hazing's taking over. I'll be back in a second. Damn, dude. I'm, I'm falling off. I can't get first place anymore. Yeah, we'll catch up now. What'd you get last uh, race, uh, Sunblade? Uh, tenth, because someone <laughs> screwed me over with a star and then a blue shell, uh, um, bullet bill and then a red shell. After that. Uh, Sorry about that. That's how it goes. Uh, you, you, okay. Mm -hmm. I remember you. <laughs> hey, Lou. I'm back. Hello. Right. I'm letting Julie race this race, so I'm just get my un unlovely face on camera. Uh, I wasn't showing the fact that I have legs. I was showing the fact that I'm wearing Mario Kart pajama bottoms as well as a Mario Kart pajama top while I'm streaming. Oh, we'd literally just done this. Yeah, no one likes Mario Kart Stadium, man. Come on, like, now. we literally just done. I've only selected we... random. Like that's the only thing I picked the whole time is random. All right. 
I wonder if it's even worth like doing all the tricks on all these like ramps. I'm already in 11. I need beverages. I need beverages. Hey, hey, hey. Call them bevies? No, I called it a beverage. Oh. <laughs> we do call, we call getting alcohol. Funnily enough, when we go to the shop to get booze, we'll say, are you, are you getting a bevy? Mm. You know, you say you're getting a drink, but we also say you're getting a bevy. So yes, like as an alcohol, but if you say to somebody, I'm getting a bevy, it would mean you're getting alcohol. In Scotland, Julie doesn't really use this term, but we used to use this term in Glasgow. I've been, I've been, um, de-Glasgotized by Julie a little bit. Oh but two, two terms that you would say is, are you getting mad with it? Which would mean you're getting steaming. Or, are you getting pushed? That's another one. So that's, that's Glasgow slang. I'm guessing in America you don't say, are you getting pushed? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Getting tanked, getting pickled, getting drunk, getting, getting trashed, getting, getting wasted. Yeah, getting, getting wasted, getting pickled. Get out your nut. <laughs> getting lit, dude. That's what that's what my generation's. Nah, but your generation's dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Your generation's wrong. There's only one way to get lit, and it doesn't involve liquid. Yeah, I think... Are you not classed as Generation X? No, that's maybe... Are you a bit younger? They're basically saying the COVID generation is now Generation X. COVID has permanently limited these children. The children of COVID have been limited permanently by COVID. It's going to affect them for the rest of their life, supposedly. Wouldn't surprise me. How? how oh my. How would COVID affect them for the rest of their life? I need to know. Tell me. Like, um, fill me in. I guess the because like right. schooling, you could think about it. Like uh, I imagine because everything's gone online, like they might not do snow days like they used to in the past. Because they're I'm like, I'm gonna turn oh. things over to my wife for a minute. So I did that. Hold on. Right. Oh no. Oh, he puts you on the mic as well. Hello, Alex uh, Sucks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just so I'm you fine know. With that. Alex yeah, sucks. No, we'll call, okay. Everybody, everybody call Alec lots of names. His wife's here, so we call him names. That's fair. That's he can. deserves it. Alec hates America. Do you know this? Yes. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> I'm fully aware of that. Oh, it's funny. I should put my CC's icon at this point. That would that would be more fun. She's looking at me like, no, nah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing it. Um, no, we just had to go and deal with the kids there, the, my children being children. As you well know, they take a yeah. bit of action. Does, what do you mean, does anyone else get mask face? My wife has just asked me to ask, does anyone else get mask face? Like, What is mask face? You feel like your skin run about where you put the mask, like you feel like it's get more prone to getting spots and drier and stuff like that? I've heard um, of mask knee, like acne that's caused by having a mask on. I'm guessing that's what she means, pretty much. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Like, oh no. Dries out her skin, makes it feel horrible. I don't really care about stuff like that, because my skin's horrible anyway, and I've got a beard, so it covers, <laughs> oh, it, covers it. Oh, I so. don't know his setup. Ugh. It's, it's okay, you're doing better than him anyway, he's crap. Alec, Alec sucks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's the worst. Oh my god, who hit me with that red shell? He's the worst person oh, in, in the room. James is the second worst. Sunblade. Uh Unfortunately, I got the crown right now, man. Unfortunately, oh, Sunblade is the the boss. Sucks. Ha ha! Unless Sunblade left, because he's all quiet now. No, oh, no, I'm here. Oh, he's here. He's just quietly going about his business as usual. Like this, <laughs> I will win. Oh. I'm just not the type of guy who interrupts conversation, so... Ooh. You say that, though? <laughs> right, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Where is he? Where is he? Right. Matter, uh, oh! Oh! Dang it! Sunblade is not in first. Sunblade's in second. No, somebody, in second, yeah. somebody who's Luigi is in first. Yeah. Sunblade, you should, you, you should get into first right now. Sunblade, just hurry up and go to first. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> God damn it! 
No, I didn't want that to help you get any first place. I wanted you to get any first place before it hit. God damn it. It wasn't me that flung it, it just came past me. It's like, haha. -ha. Right, give me that, give me that, give me that. Ooh, oh, the banana. Dang. Oh, Jesus Christ. Some actual mofo. Stop. Who was that? Who was that? How many bullets on the map? I, I just got absolutely rammed by a bullet. Right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, Julia, I didn't buy it in Ann Summers, no. I don't know if they get Ann Summers in America. I don't think they do. Do you get Ann Summers in America? Ann, Ann Summers? I'm not familiar. Ann, Ann Summers. Summers. Like, it's a sex shop. <laughs> My wife oh. just asked me to ask. It's like, <laughs> where, I don't think where, so. where women go? No. <laughs> Well, oh, you did today. Okay. Oh. No, if you guys have cool stuff over there, um, we definitely don't have it over here. I don't know if it's cool. I mean, I had to, <laughs> I, I had to go in once and buy a gift for someone. It wasn't my wife, and it was awkward to say the least. I don't really know if I can. Like, I don't really know if I can share this story. <laughs> well, night. <laughs> I went, right, there was this girl that Julie knows and her husband, she ended up divorcing this guy, but he wasn't, like, doing anything. So we thought it would be funny to buy her a vibrator for our Christmas. <laughs> but I had to go in and buy it. So, <laughs> so I was looking around the shop, like, wondering what to buy. And then a male, a male shop assistant came over and started recommending vibrators and he was telling me about the vibrators that he used and I'm like okay this is like really like just making me even more awkward than before do you know what I mean if a woman was telling me that's one thing but you're telling me it's like okay so like I was I was like very weirded out I'm not homophobic or anything like that just like it, it was just like okay like, a surprise <laughs> yeah it was, it was a surprise it wasn't just like well a lot of females that come in here like to buy this it's like well I like to use this one and I'm like okay, right, okay. Just, like, let's dial it back fair. a bit <laughs> take a few steps back and then when I got yeah. the, then when I got to the counter it was a different woman that was saying at the counter and she's like oh we've got an offer on just now can i interest you in a vibrating cock ring with that and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> it's like, okay. i mean they they gotta sell their stuff it's, oh, yeah, it's I mean, supposed like anywhere else uh, d d definite upselling going on there you know but like <laughs> yeah like, but I'm, maybe not at a sex shop <laughs> well yeah i mean I'm, I'm not like really faint of heart or anything like that but i was kind of taken aback by it it was a, an interesting experience to say the least like <laughs> go Oh no! Ah! So I can totally get why people do things like that online now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. So they did, was the one they got or not really bad, Julie? Yeah. Uh, this is the last race for me. Five nine needs me. Five nine like, needs me. Yeah, they're all taking me <laughs> all the time. Like you have to join oh, the no. call, blah blah blah. What have you done, Sunblade? What have you done? <laughs> Uh, no, no, they want to discuss the tier list they made, and yep. Yeah. Oh. Not Sora's tier list, surely. Uh, yeah. J just, just look at Discord, man. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Shoot. It's, it's like, what the hell? What, are people actually upset about Sora's tier list, and is it attached to 5 9 now? And they're like, no, we need uh, to No, 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 they're <laughs> not upset. I'm just, let's, let's say surprised. Like, uh, of all, out of all of the 2020 units, go on his bottom. <laughs> what? Oh. The, la the last one. <laughs> nah. So, uh, nah. 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 Yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah. No, I'm saying no, nah, they're wrong. I, I don't care, I'll publicly say it just now. There is no way he can be ranked at the bottom. But he did it, so uh, yeah. No, no. I have to get in there and like... Yeah, I agree. You have to go and defend Gohan. You need yeah, because to like, pe people would like... Make fun of us. Oh yeah, they would make fun of you. Yeah, that, I mean Gohan, Gohan should be near the top, if not the top of that list. I'm sorry. If we're talking, if we're putting TURs onto a different list than LRs, then Gohan is in contention for being number one. <laughs> yep. Right. I mean, I would rank Gohan above Gogeta. I don't care what people say. I would. I would put Gohan above. Yeah, I would Gogeta. do the same. Yeah. I mean an SS4 Gogeta, by the way. I don't. I've not used PyCon enough to judge him. Yep. Yeah, uh, I keep taking my eyes off the screen, Julie. Okay, I'm done now. 
Thank you guys very much. Um, yeah. go, and, yeah, go, like go, go and fight for ah. fight for Gohan. Fight for Gohan. Oh, uh, okay, now I'm first. Are you kidding me? Okay, perfect time to finish. Um, <laughs> I have to come and end. You yep. must you must fight for Gohan. I believe in you, Sunblade. I believe in you. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will work this out. So, but I don't want to spoil too much for the people in oh. the chat. So, no, that's My fine. Crown. That's that's fine. Just tell people you're going to kick them out. <laughs> fix on, fix her. Go on. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, talk to you later and chat. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Um, I'll join the next time. Bye, Sunblade. See you soon. See you, man. Bye. Nice. Did you see that, Hazy? He can, just left with the crown. Can you? Can you? My, my... <laughs> he took the crown with him. Oh. Can you? My name will not be attached to such nonsense. I will not allow it. <laughs> I want All right, nothing to do with that. I want nothing to do with that. No. No. Oh. Alec, you just you just missed a controversial statement. Hopefully, it's not going to turn out that way. What? Uh, uh, there's a tentative list going about that Gohan is the worst TUR released in 2020. What? Tech Gohan. Like, 5-9 list. Tech Gohan. Bottom. Like, All right. Who's who's trolling? Yeah, exactly. Who's like... like Is the list back to front? Because, like, I would argue that Tech Gohan is the best TUR released in 2020. Honestly, I don't care. I know people are going to say, oh, he's boring to use, etc. But he's probably the best TUR released in 2020. I mean, I've not used Janimba and I've not used PyCon enough to actually give them a fair shake, right? But of the ones that I've used on Global at least, there ain't no way that Gohan isn't number one. I don't know. I I could see the argument between Gohan and Cooler just because of what Cooler does for the teams that he's on since he has that support passive. Because um, Cooler makes the whole team better, but Gohan in and of himself carries a whole team. Yeah. You know, so it, it's it's kind of hard to say. They both they both are really fantastic, but for different reasons. Yeah, I think don't, don't get me wrong though. I think they might be doing it as a a Japanese list. So I don't know if Killer would be on that. You know, I mean, I'm saying I'm saying global because obviously I can't. Other than Frieza, who's not come to global yet, I don't really think there's anyone that's up there fighting them. I know some people would probably say Frieza's a better unit, but I I think I like Gohan better than Frieza. I have used Freezer, that's how I can say that. Um, I don't know. I've got, there's a lot of controversy. Controversy? 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 I think I said that right the first time and I'm trying to correct myself. Hey! <laughs> oh, god damn it! Oh my god. You missed it, we were talking to your wife about sex shops and stuff like that there, Alec. It was quite interesting. I was telling her a story about a time that oh. I, I had to go and buy a feminine pleasure product for someone that was quite difficult <laughs> um hang on. I, I looked down at my chat and i see by the way did i hear the word vibrator earlier <laughs> they also heard, i they, honestly couldn't tell you they also heard the vibrating cock ring but <laughs> um he's the best defensive tur i like him but physical freezer and Int super saiyan 4 gogeta are way too insane can you you know I, I respect your opinion i don't have to agree with it but i respect your opinion <laughs> See, I can't, I can't speak to any Japanese units. If they're not on global, I can't talk about them because I don't know. I haven't used them. That's fair. I mean, I can, I can theory craft, but like, it's the same reason why I'm not going to be a part of your top ten games of 2020 list. I haven't played a whole lot of games that have released in 2020, so it would, anything that I say would be disingenuous. Well, Alec, you actually have the same sort of a logic as me in a certain way. You could. See you later, Boomer's baby daddy. You look at things like tier lists, etc. Because we had this discussion, obviously, when we made a tier list. You could quite easily go and use like videos that Truth's done, videos that um, Hydros have done, showcasing units. But like me, unless you're being hands-on with those units... What shall I do? Mm -hmm. All right. Unless you've been hands-on with those units and actually been able to play with them yourself, you don't like to put them on a list. And I, I fully support that because... You see these showcases, people do things to make these units look super good, right? When I do my showcases, I don't know if you've ever actually sat down and watched one of them, I literally just take the character, I put them onto one of their teams, and I run them. I just run them. I just run them the way I would if I was doing any other event. I don't go out my way to make them look good. I don't go out my way to pop, um, like, 
bee pans or bardock and guineas i don't do anything like that i literally just run an event the way i would run the event with that unit on the team sometimes in my showcases i'll be honest the unit doesn't even shine that much you know what i mean you can see what they can do but I don't go out my way to make them pop insane, crazy numbers. I, I like to kind of show people this is what you're getting if you pull this unit. Which to More me realistic. is... Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's the way I see it. That's the way I've always wanted to see it. Because I've literally seen showcases with units at Rainbow. I'll have the same unit at Rainbow and I've never hit the kind of numbers that I've seen people posting screenshots for. And I'm like, yeah, there's clearly stuff going on behind the scenes that you're not wanting to say has went on behind the scenes because I've got the same rotation as you. I've collected the same amount of orbs as you. I've done everything. You've clearly popped an item before getting into this, this round or something like that to inflate those numbers. But whenever you're on Reddit or something, they'll always say no items used but then you try and recreate it and it's like well if there's no items used why am i not getting anywhere near the numbers that you're getting do you know what i mean by that yeah so that's why when i do a showcase i just basically like to showcase the unit purely on a team that you're going to run them on and in an event that they're going to potentially shine in. For me, it's generally the Legendary Goku event. That's my measuring stick. I'll take them into that. If they do well in that, then I'll take them into Super Battle Road, depending on how they're built. But obviously, not every character's built for Super Battle Road. Why am I talking about Dokkan? Dokkan sucks. <laughs> Dragon Ball Legends, man. I've actually been playing Legends of me, but did you see my, my post today? Yeah, I saw it. Uh, yeah, James, did you see it? <laughs> No, I didn't check it out. What was it? I done... Right, so I had up to t up to the today, I had used 4,000 Chrono Crystals and I managed to pull... Oh, like, come on. I, I managed to pull... On my first 500 summon, I pulled a Gogeta. So I switched over to the Broly banner. When I spent another 200... Uh, when I spent another 3,500 Crystals, I pulled a Broly, right? So I was up to 4,000 Crystals spent. This morning I done some grinding and I decided I was going to finish the rotation on Broly's banner. So the fifth, fifth step, the one that gives you two tickets, I done it. I got a dupe for Broly, so I've got Broly at three stars. I then done some more grinding. I done one summon on Gogeta's banner. So that's 6,000 Chrono Crystal spent. I pulled another Gogeta. So I've got them both at three stars and I've only spent 6,000 Chrono Crystals. Wow. Crits, Crits brings up a good point over in 5 Night Chat. It could be that they have their links leveled higher than yours as well. I generally, generally, right, generally, again, you need to go and check out Hazing DKB Twitter, uh, YouTube, not a plug, um, but generally what I try and do before I showcase any units is I get the full team to link level 10. It's generally what I do is, again, a lot of people when they put out Dokkan content, and I try not to do this, I put out, um, instead of, you know how a lot of people when they do showcase videos, they'll say, Goku, Link Level 10 Showcase, and then they'll do Vegeta, Link Level 10 Showcase, and then they'll do Gogeta, Link Level 10 Showcase. I don't do that. I'll do, like, full team of Final Trump Card, Link Level 10 Showcase, so every single character on the team is Link Level 10. I don't like breaking it down to an individual unit showcase. I'll showcase the team at Link Level 10, because then you'll get to see every character on that team performing at Link Level 10. Um, oh, I, don't, man. I, I don't know if you've ever seen it, Alec, but I did do a few side-by-sides where I... Basically, I'd done a no-item run on the Legendary Goku event. I'd done it with Final Trump Card, Kamehameha. I took that footage. I took the exact same team that I'd got to full Link Level 10. I played them side-by-side. -side. Um, so basically, people could see in real time how much of a difference having the full team at Link Level 10 made to pre-link level update um i got a good reception on it but as usual with most of my dokkan videos i got like 40 views <laughs> um i've literally not seen anyone else doing anything like that even though i tried to do something unique it didn't really work well it worked i mean it was entertaining if you actually watched the video but it's quite hard as you know to get a foothold in the dokkan market if you're not a well-known creator right so, so i'm not going to say it can be discouraging i suppose it can be a little bit um because obviously like anything. well i suppose I, the thing is james like you don't don't think you make any gacha content right so no. that's, that's not a, a disservice to you i think at some point in everybody's youtube twitch career or whatever you will sometimes watch other people's content and you'll think maybe this is a big-headed thing to think and maybe it's a disrespectful thing to think i don't know but you will genuinely look at your own content sometimes and think 
what I'm showing and the way I've done it, I, I feel it's better than this, right? I feel like I've maybe put more effort into it or whatever. I'm not, like, dissing on anybody else's content or anything, right? But you'll look at that and you'll think, but why have they got, like, 50,000 views and I've got 10? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like... YouTube's a weird place. It doesn't always make sense to me. Like, it sometimes promotes things that it just doesn't make sense why they promote it. And they, they don't really promote growth, strangely enough. YouTube will promote people who are already big, but they don't really like to promote smaller creators. So to become a bigger creator on YouTube and get promoted, you kind of have to force yourself to grow a bit and at that point youtube will look at you and kind of go okay you're a larger creator we'll, we'll start showing people your content now at least that's my experience of it anyway um do you know what i mean by that alec yeah it's very hard uh, to, to grow from the ground up but it is when you've already got a following youtube just spits out your content it'll spit you on your recommendations oh, all but the time. It, it it makes sense from youtube's uh, perspective because they make money off of advertising for videos so if they promote the people that already get a shit ton of views they're just adding to the advertising revenue from that video oh yeah compared to what they'll get from somebody watching say one of our videos yeah that's true but at the same time like it's a very hard environment for newer creators to prosper and grow shit. so it's Calcifer, like thank you for the follow Obviously, Welcome to the Global Game. Obviously, it's in YouTube's best interest to have more creators on their platform. But if they don't do anything to help those creators get recognized or grow, then they're, they're, it's kind of a vicious cycle. They're going to basically, these create, smaller creators are going to look for new platforms. They're going to look for things like Twitch. Is it easier to get a following on Twitch? Is it easier to go to TikTok? You know what I mean? Um, I just right. feel that YouTube should maybe do a little bit more for smaller creators. That's just my opinion anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm doing great, Calcifer. Thank yeah, you for Ninja asking. Bros. How are you? <clears throat> Ninja Bros, it's true. They do. They do have a... I mean... They do hey, have Zink, a uh, maybe you should post the, the code for the, the racing, because I think a lot of people dropped off. Yep, I will repost the code as well. Give me just one second here. Over on Twitch and YouTube. It's true, Ninja Bros. <clears throat> you, Don. I just done it. Thanks, Dondre. Appreciate you. I mean, JP Dokon and, and Global Dokon are the same game, just like at a different stage in time. Let's be honest, I mean, <clears throat> they are quite literally. Hello, child. Hello. Why are you here? <laughs> no. What are you doing? Why have you got all those crisps? Alex is really Spider-Man. Not really. Right, here. That's a tournament code, guys. Here, William. If you, if you want to join, go ahead and use that. William, here. Here. Sorry, I'm talking to my son. I'll be two seconds. Go. Right, bye. Right, right, right. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, but like I just said there, can you... I mean... Like, Global Dokon and JP Dokon, the only difference is, like, the period and time that we're in. I mean, Japan, Japanese Dokon isn't any better at all than Global Dokon. It is just a timing thing. Just has different units at different times. Uh -huh. That's and it. You do have the benefit on, I don't care what people say, <clears throat> you do have the benefit on Global of at least being able to plan. Yes, you're schedule might be off because you might expect units to come at times that they don't come at but you still have the ability to plan and save like for example at the end of next month we are going to have a preview of what our five year or six year anniversary is going to look at we're going to basically exactly we're going to basically know if in the next few upcoming banners for example like let's just say for the six year anniversary you've got kefla you've got gohan and stuff like that coming back on the banners if they now pop up on oh, a... I'm... son oh. of a bitch if they now pop <laughs> up on a banner that that might be a bit subpar but you think to yourself i really want a dupe for like kefla i really want a dupe for gohan you now have the ability to skip that because you know for a fact they're coming up on the the six year anniversary so I mean, while I do think that the time difference between Global and Japan is annoying, and I think it would be less annoying if it was a hard calendar, like if we knew for a fact we were four months behind. So no matter what happened, 
whatever Japan gets, we're always going to get it four months later. And not things like Kale and Cauliflower that just randomly get delayed for no reason. Um, I think that would be what would make Global better. I don't think we need to necessarily match up. I just think if we could bank on the timeline being more consistent, I think that would make a lot of Global players right. happier. Because I think you know yourself, Alec, like, it, it is very annoying. Things like the easy A for Kale and Cauliflower pissed me the hell off. It, it really did. It's like, yeah, I'm probably not going to use those units much, but I want to be on schedule. I want to know that we are roughly four months behind Japan, because that's kind of the way it's always been. Let's keep celebrations the same. Let's not do global first units. Like, global first units can just die in a fire. I, I hate mean, global first oh, units, so they, dude. So they are. I mean, what's the point in having a global first unit? so that we can get a watered down celebration that we know when it comes to Japan it's going to be way more hype we're not going to get half of what they get um, it just sucks I don't like Global First at all uh, really bugs it really really bugs me um, you were a thought hazing oh Oh, you're so lucky. You are so lucky. Oh, you were about to flex on me then. You hit you with that fireball. You're like, oh. I got scared last second, yeah. Right, hang on. I need to catch up in the chat here. I probably annoyed some people. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Japan gets more top grossing stones. I wish they would bring back the tight banners. Yeah, you'll get that soon. The tight banners are like the tight banners come like once a year for each. Typing. It's so stupid. Um, they kind of ruined it, especially looking at Jiren and how they they, they come back over. for yeah. a limited amount of time and with limited like limited amounts of summons. If I want to go and wail hard for let's say the physical Gohan support unit, I don't have that option. Yeah, you do at all. Yeah, you do. No, like almost every time they bring that damn banner back, it's like for one, two, or three pulls. No, it's not. The tight banners, you can summon as much as you want on the tight banners. What are you talking about? <laughs> like every time they bring them back for anniversaries, they're limited, dude. They, you only have so many times that you can pull on it. Every time I've pulled on the tight banner, you can pull unlimited times. I've, I've wheeled on them, so I've, you definitely can. Yeah, I mean, someone back me up here. The tight banners don't have a limited number of pulls. They don't. I don't know if you're confusing about. Um... Maybe I'm thinking when they come back for like anniversaries, when they have all the shit, extra shit that you get with them, like the kais and shit, that they're just limited for every, that. Every every time the the thingy banner come. No, well, I suppose it doesn't come with kais. It comes with blue coins. No, wait a minute. Does the tight banner come with kais? I think the tight can the tight banner does. It used does. to. Think, they used I think, to. I think it still does. And because sometimes you would pull on it, and I'd be like, right, well, I'm, if I do ten pulls, I'm getting ten kai's, but then I'm also getting ten blue, uh, hundred blue coins. That if I really want, I can trade them for ten more kai's. Um, right. It's not limited though. It's definitely a hundred percent. The tight banners are not limited. Maybe they come back at a certain point, and they are limited, but not to my knowledge. Uh, Any time I've seen them, that it's been unlimited. Go as much as you want on them. Because I've got all Someone the Someone in chat, Ginyu's backing me up. Ginyu's backing you up? Ginyu, what are you talking about? Where? No, there are tight banners that came this year that was one multi only. I've never seen them. I played the full year and I never once seen a tight banner that was one multi only. Somebody needs to screenshot this and send me it on Twitter. I've never seen a, a single pull tight banner. Oh my. I think see Andre saying we're right. Daniel Smith with the sub on YouTube. Thank you very much. What are you guys talking about? The right, like, gonna tell me the banners that this is? I've never seen a type banner that you could only pull on once. Just to confirm, we're talking about the type banners that give you the Gohan and the Boo support. Fifty. The we're 50, talking about yeah, the fifty percent support the, banners yeah. here. I've never seen yeah, a fifty the, support there's banner. A, there's a number of times they've come where they've had limited pulls, and that's the, like the, they come so infrequently that even if you get one time a year where you can wail on it, like for me, the one time I think I can remember in. Uh, in 2020, where they were unlimited, it was at a point where I couldn't wail. Damn you, Hazing. They were all, um, I remember them coming out, like, they were about two months apart. You get the blue one, the first one that came back was the blue one with, no, it wasn't the first one that came back, was the purple one with Gohan and Vegeta. Then the, the Pan one came, then it was Hit and STR. Um, Kaba, Kaba. I was going to say Kabe there because of fucking truth. Um, and then the last one that came was Gohan and uh, Boo. 
but those ones were unlimited. Like they ran for about two or three weeks. They just came out at really stupid times. They came out when there was big banners that were up, so people were right like, when you can't when you can't wail on those banners. Like I don't have unlimited income, so I oh, can't yeah, be yeah, all yeah. like, you know, you can save it's your, just save your stones for them, I guess. But it's like um, people are. I just don't remember one that actually has like a limited number of pulls or anything like that. That's what I'm confused at. So you hate strength Goku? Why are you saying that, Mike? Tech T N. What? Yeah, Tech T N. That's what I'm talking about. Tech T N. Right, wait a minute. I'm so confused now. People are like, yeah, wait a you can pull on those banners, but they're only for a week for each type. No, there are a type of banners that came this year that was one multi only. I don't remember that one. All right. The single type banners, yes, all right. On the 300 million download celebration, it was limited to one summon per banner. No, specific solo. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. Those banners. I don't remember this banners. Right, this video shows it. It says they should be one permanently and they swap weekly. Okay, okay. I'm not slowing anyone down. I don't think I've seen yeah, this. Yeah, they, they should be out permanently and swap weekly. That's That's not a bad idea. Fine, I knew. Join. Right, hopefully I made it in. We might need to spectate this one, if not. I gave him that much juice in a cup. How did he manage that? Oh, my child was being stupid and he just spilt juice all over his bedroom floor. Lovely. And his bed, lovely. I'm hungry with that for dinner. I might make some of that kebab meat after this. Try it. You want to taste it? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, I'm in this room myself. Jesus god. Are you starting? Are you racing already, guys? Yeah. Right. Tell me Can when you're. Tell me when you're about to finish racing. Like tell okay. me. Tell me when you're just finished, so I can rejoin. It's not like when I get first place. Yeah, James, you are you're winning. <laughs> you're winning an unhealthily high amount. I'm not I'm not keen on this. I don't really know what's happening. I think you're cheating. You're built different. You're... <laughs> Listen to this kid. Built different. You're lying, son. You're lying. Who's a Sato Rajini? Mm, nice. So this dry Bowser is killing him first. They're like really far ahead. Is it, is it, is it Mr. Pie? Um, no, I think they're doing this with a C. Ocean Man? I said their name starts with a C. True. Wait, I need to well, check that this. Sucked. I need to check this. That was a really video. bad turn for me. 350 million. Oh, right. You get four. Wait. You get to do one summon and you get 4,000. Potential orbs for fifty stones. Yeah, I'd do that. <laughs> like, I totally do that. I actually remember that banner now. I remember you get the orbs. I forgot it was one summon though, but I remember the fact that you get the orbs. They've, We're they've, on the third lap right now. They've never been back. Those ones that give you the free orbs, they have never been back. I've never seen them since the three hundred million download celebration. Because if they were going to be a yearly thing, they would have come back just after the 350 million download celebration. So obviously, since they've given oh. those characters an awakening, they've obviously scrapped those. Because remember, on those banners, need to come back more. On those ban on those banners, the characters were unawakened. They hadn't like got their awakening yet. Julie hit the button. I'm hoping you guys are finished now. We're just about finished. Oh, God, just about. No. Got that. I can't even get in my own room. What's happening? <laughs> it's happening. Okay, get in. You're finished, right? Get in. Everybody get in. Yeah. Right, ready, Julie? Quick, go. <laughs> right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And... Do not, don't select a track. Do not select a track. Oh no, try again, try again. I'm trying again right now. Oh my god, oh my god. Hey, Calcifer, man. Killing it. Do not select a track, do not select a track. I'm not selecting a track. I would never, I would never select a right, track. Right, go, 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 This happened before with Talon and stuff, and it just wouldn't let anyone back in the room. 
And a five second three. I'm Two. not in the room. I start, I'm, I'm joining the room and it's not letting me in. That's so weird. It's done this before. Ended up having to start um, a new room. Yeah, I guess just start a new one. No, I don't want to do that though. Right. As long as we can put us on spectating, we're fine. No, it just keeps putting me on top of the world by myself. What if you go through the friends list and you join? Hey, can you join off me on your friends list? Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a clever. That's a smart move. Yep. I like yep. how you could have picked me, but you chose Alec first. I don't think. <laughs> 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 I just... No, I know. I'm I think it might be working this time. Yeah, I guess that's how you do it. You just run through friends. Yeah, it's working. It's working this time. That is so dumb. That is so goddamn dumb. What is more important? Oh my god. Oh, come on! Hidden potential, yeah, yeah. hidden potential 100%. What would you say, Alec? What's get, what's, I'm going to reword this question, okay? But it means the same thing. What has had the bigger impact on the game? Hidden potential system or link leveling? I think it's obviously hidden potential. I mean, honestly, I don't think either one of those have had as big of an effect on the game as EZAs have. Remember, if we didn't have link leveling, you wouldn't have crits, you wouldn't have additionals. So you, are you saying EZAs are a bigger impact to the game than crits, additionals, and stuff like that? Yep. <sighs> You're crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying I'm saying the taking old units and making them relevant again um, definitely improves the game more than the hidden potential system, skill well, orbs, or link leveling. Well, I do respect your choice, but it, it, the guy, the person in chat, uh, Ninja Bros, gave you two choices. Link level system or hidden potential, not make another choice, Alec, and tell us easy hey, A. That's, those, that's the way I am. Two, out of those two choices, which has got the bigger impact on the game, hidden potential or link leveling? <sighs> I think I think the argument could be made in that situation for link levels just because of the relevancy they gave to things like uh, the Majin Buu team. Like they actually gave them key links and made them a viable team to run. Um, big bad bosses being at link level ten is pretty big, but it's hard to say which is really the biggest effect. I mean, without crits, without additionals, without evasion, would any of that stuff really matter? Um, I mean, I guess I. If I had to choose between the two, I would rather have the hidden potential system because leveling up links sucks ass. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I'm really confused. Julie, am I imagining things? Oh, look at my finger right there. You need to look quite close. Is it an R button in my finger? Look really, you need to look really close. Can you see it? I can see like an R. Why have I got an R? But I've, I've not. I've been holding the pan down here. There's no R. That's a bun, and it's an R. I, somehow in my finger, right, I've got a bun. I've had this bun for about two days, and I've been wondering why it's been sore. And looking at it closely, the letter R is burnt into my hand, and I don't know how. It's like, how have I managed to get the letter R burnt into my finger? But there's no R on this. But I've not been using that pad. There's not even an R on this! Because this is my left hand! So why would an R? <laughs> That's so confusing. Guys, I know you just went silent on me. I'm, I'm kind of jibbering a wee bit here, but you probably won't be see it on this camera. No, you can't. You can't. There's a burn right here. And for some reason, the letter R for Romeo is burnt into my skin, and I don't know how. Nice. Was oh, that your right hand or your left hand? It's on my left hand! Oh, then, then, yeah, that's yeah, the, exactly. Julie's doesn't like, work maybe, out as good. Yeah, Julie's like, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's from. Uh, it's in my left hand. <laughs> Makes no sense. I don't All know I hear amazing is Bomb. He's saying burn. Burn? You got a burn on your left hand, right? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, I've got a burn on my left hand. I'm okay. right handed, mate, so it's nothing to do with friction burns. In case you're going to go down that road that I've been jerking. No, no, I, no. One of, one of the people in my chat was asking what you were saying. I'm saying burn, burn, burn. Do I have to burn. speak with an American accent? <laughs> like, please don't. don't. That creeps me out. No. I like that. What do you? I, I think it's funny. I totally screwed that one up. Screwed the pooch. 
I screwed the pooch on that one. Dag damn it. <laughs> what was the southern accent? I can't even do that one. I, I, uh... Do the southern accent again, Alec. My southern accent's pretty terrible, but, uh... Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Y'all need to come over and grab some cool. cornbread and get your sweet tay. Heister does a way better southern accent than I do. Yeah. Because I live, I live in the center of the country in the Midwest, so I live in an area where generally we don't have an accent. That's why all of our telecommunications stuff is here. All of our, like, customer service centers and things. You know, unless you get ones from other countries. My, my brain, which a lot of countries are doing. My brain right now is processing, should I try it or not? <laughs> I don't. These, especially not based off of my southern accent. Y'all need a... <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to come down and get some sweet tea and grits. <laughs> That's actually not not terrible. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Julie's singing fucking peaches by the American presidents. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, peaches come from a can. They were put, put there, by, there the by the man. By a man. <laughs> In a factory downtown. And if I had my way, I'd eat peaches every day. <laughs> Sun so goodness in the shade. Oh, uh, people are like, what the fuck? They're like, wow, why are these old guys talking about music from two decades ago? Mate, we're still singing shiny. Oh, Son of a my bitch! God. Oh. Me both phallic. Did you oh, say something man. about phallic? No, not did this you, time. Did you just call Alec a cock? <laughs> it's like, did you just politely call him a cock, Alec? You're fine. Like Alec, I mean, it, like, that, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. I've been called worse things. Don't, don't, don't. Julie just called me a cunt fuck. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Busted! Yeah, you bitches! I came fast. I know. Dude, I this Alec freaking Bowser keeps coming up first. Mm, mm, what about mm, Alec mm, Hunter? Mm, 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 Mm -mm. What? I need to catch up in the chat here, but we're ignoring people. I feel bad. Head and present has a lot more value. Agreed. What about your free dodge? Free dodge sucks. Uh, I have to admit, if it weren't for Easy A, all these old units you hate to get an extra. Like, rainbow units are good, but rainbow Easy A old units are godly. Can be the truth in some ways. Boys, I made hot cocoa. Hot chocolate for the win! Y'all need to get along now. Y'all need to get along now, or I'm gonna have to hog tie you to my tree. And then, whip you with my dick. <laughs> my chat's saying you, you should use your American accent and do my son of a bitch. What's your son of a bitch? I don't know. Apparently, I have a son of a bitch. Son of a bitch? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. It's probably, it's probably when we're playing, and I get hit by something, and I go, son of a bitch! And then I stop myself. Yeah. We should try, like... I... Like, let, let, let's all try and see, right? We need to take turns at this. Let's try and do truth central, right? Who wants to go first? Oh, God. <laughs> You're not allowed to shout, though. <laughs> what is it he does? He goes, All right, guys! I can't do it. <laughs> that sounded more like Nano to me. Oh, wait a minute. He goes, No, no, he goes, Oh, it actually, is it? No, it's... No, 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 he goes, Oh, All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. That was it. That was it. That was Nano. I, I done Nano. That's right. He goes. All right, guys. Tyler here, aka Nanogenics. <laughs> I done it once. Uh, I went. Hey, what was that? I wrote John here, aka Hazy Jenks, because I was doing a mad video that was a challenge that Nano put out, and I thought, ah, fuck it, I'll just try and do a Nano voice. What? What did you say, James? Scott, Scott, I just got fucked, man. Remind okay. me after the stream, Hazing, and I'll send you the link of Anthony Jamo doing his De Truth impression. It's fucking great. De Truth is Da Truth, motherfucker. Da Truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Are you... Hmm... I hate lightning bolts so much. I love lightning bolts.
I'm going to start calling you Thunder. <laughs> He's like, how are you going to hit that banana peel, man? Do you hear me, Alec? I'm going to hit, start calling you Thunder. He's not entertaining me. Fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Alec? Alec, what? can you hear me? I can hear you. I said, I'm going to start calling you Thunder. Okay, you do that. You're supposed to ask me why you did that? Please! Dude, dude, dude. Rye Bowser has gotten first place like every single time. Like, like how? Is that Mrs. Hazink? Mrs. Hazink, can you hear me? Yeah, she probably is shouting in the background. She shouts a lot in the background. She said, she said, they're to shove the lightning bolts up their fucking arses, is what she said. Translated from Scottish to human. I agree. Fuck lightning bolts. Fuck lightning bolts, man. Fuck them. They're the devil. <laughs> what film's that? Go on. I, like, I expect uh, you to get this. Water, water boy. Yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> my, don't, uh, my, 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 don't do my, that. My, my, That's the devil, Bobby Boucher. Uh, you go. My, my, my mama told me. My, my, my mama told me. <laughs> There's something wrong with his Abdullah Oblongata. <laughs> <laughs> My my mama says that alligators are all ornery because they got so many teeth and they don't have a toothbrush. <laughs> Big shoes and you can do it. Room. Cut his fucking head off. Cut his fucking head off. <laughs> what a voice, cool. Yeah, what a voice. I like what a boy. I don't like Adam Sandler that much to be honest. I did like when I was young until I realized. Dude, that Uncut Gems uh, until, is really good. No, but I didn't like Alex. I, 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 Alex, you know the reason why I probably feel this way and I've explained it before but I don't like the fact that Adam Sandler basically made his career off of playing a person with mental illness because really if you actually yeah. watch if you watch him he is essentially pretending to be autistic like, and have a disability and near enough every single one of his films but at that point th there wasn't really this sort of uh awareness shone upon it but if you actually watch adam sandler's he was i don't i'm not going to use the term because i absolutely hate the term but he was quote unquote playing what they would have called an r word if that makes sense ah that word is so terrible that is but that is what he was doing that is essentially how he built his career that's what billy madison was that's what Waterboy was that's what all these films w were and the thing that bugs me is there's people that get like cancelled for making a stupid joke but Adam Sandler built a career off of that and nobody gives a toss I, I, I just I'm not for people getting cancelled like, I don't want Adam Sandler to get cancelled that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying where's the outrage for that I just hate how people like to pick and choose their moral outrage it does my tits in if you're going to oh, be yeah, totally makes sense. If, if you're going to be outraged at something then you should be outraged at everything not just what suits your own agenda but no we're humans we only care about ourselves and our agendas well I, I, well, I suppose even so. even when we're feigning that we give a shit about anybody else, it's just generally to suit our own agendas. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but I mean, let's be real. Canceled. Hi, hey, Hydros. Hi, What's up, Hydros? Hydros. 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 No. Sunblade told me to tell you. <laughs> Sunblade, no. Sunblade told me to tell you you have to move up my picture to the next row up on the boot website. Like, oh. He actually did tell me to tell you that. They were, they were here, I'm not lying. I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. come on, boo! I was just about to use that freaking mushroom, too. <laughs> See, so I wish Hydros was here earlier. We were having a good discussion about movies earlier, Hydros. You missed it. James obviously couldn't take part in that because... Captain Marvel sucks, end of story. I actually was talking about how Captain Marvel's better than Wonder Woman earlier. Brie no, Larson. No. Brie, Brie oh, Larson. funny, funny no, story, guys. No, um, no. Brie Larson actually came to um, one of the AMC theaters that my friends worked at, and like uh, she like went back in the bar and she actually like took pictures of everybody. Like one of my friends took a picture with her. Kind of cool. Oh, so she's creepy. I get it. <laughs> Hydros, Hydros would take a picture with Brie Larson so he could post it on the internet and says Brie Larson called me a cunt in this picture. <laughs> 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 he'd, he'd, he'd use it to well. spread he'd use it to spread hate about um, Brie Larson is that the scam man Hydros why are they calling you the scam man because he stole everybody's points, points during a Mario oh. Party stream oh yeah. right guys let's have a vote and chat right. oh prediction who, time who is the no who is the better female superhero is it Gal Gadot Ooh. is it Brie Larson or is it What's her face? 
What's her face? Hang on, I'll remember in a second. Scarlett Johansson. Who oh. is the best female lead in a superhero movie? Gal Gadot? Right. Scarlett Johansson? Or Brie Larson? You know the answer. It's Brie Larson. It's sad because... It's, it's sad because... It's Brie Larson. Because she fits the role of Wonder Woman really, really good. But Who, Brie Larson? The act, like the whole... The whole director just sucks. <laughs> Wait, you think that Brie Larson should be Wonder Woman? No, no. Gal Gadot fits. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know that you like Brie Larson. Brie Larson should never be Wonder Woman. She would butcher that role. <laughs> um, I don't know. See that. See that. Like as time has passed, right? When I watched Wonder Woman, I enjoyed it. I thought it was okay. But as I've digested it a bit more, I, I don't actually like it that much. I thought, like. In Wonder Woman 1, it was a good movie, but the CG was pretty bad at the end. The thing about the new Wonder Woman is, the CG was goddamn awful at the end. Like, through the whole damn thing? What are you talking about, just at the end? Well, no, I mean, through, like, there was bits that was okay, but the fight at the end was horrific. Like, Cheetah, Cheetah Woman looked horrific. She just looked terrible. Cheetah. Yeah, she I'm looked... surprised that one actress played Cheetah, because she's more of like a comedic like a uh, actor well actually do you know what one of the things i would actually say about it is um custom wig did okay in that film considering custom yeah. wig doesn't normally play roles like that um mm. i think she was one of the better things about the film what julie said to me <laughs> was um see when we were watching it see the guy that played i don't remember his name but see the guy that played the the, the main male bad guy she, uh pedro she, pascal the yeah, same guy who plays the mandalorian yeah she basically says to me could they not afford Nathan Nathan Fillon? She thought that basically that guy was basically Nathan Fillon. You know how you know I'm talking about the guy that plays right, Castle right, and stuff trying like to that. be Nathan Fillion. Yep. Yeah, that's that's what she said. She went, could she not? Could they not afford him? And I'm like, worst part was Nathan Fillion would probably have been cheaper than him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, and also better in the role, I think, for how the character was written. Yeah, like, I mean, he did. Pedro seem... Pedro Pascal did really good with what he was given, but he really was not given anything good. Yeah, but can you see what well, she that's was... the, that his villain sucks overall? Like, I don't. That they could have chosen way better stuff to work with. Well, no, the thing is, but can you can you like, can, Alec, can you see what Julie was getting at? How Nathan Fillion would have fit that role really well? Oh yeah, absolutely. Nah, but then how he acted as well, Julie. If you watched the whole thing, he kind of it, it was like. It's it's like Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake should totally have been Nathan Fillion, and he did do that YouTube movie where he basically went, "Feck it, I'm going to finance this myself, and I'm going to play Nathan Drake." And it was actually pretty good. Um, but I just always felt like, as an actor, I like him. Maybe it's because I'm a fan of Buffy, right? I, I'll admit it. I liked Buffy, and I liked Angel, yeah, me too. and stuff like that. And I've always liked him and everything that he's done. I even liked Castle, um, but. I just don't ever think he's kind of broken out to be a biggish star. Scarlet is amazing no. as well as gorgeous, right? Scarlet wins. I like Brie. Are you talking about the cheese or Brie Larson? Just to be clear. Somebody says they like Brie. They didn't say Brie Larson, so I need to just be clear. Do you like the cheese or do you like the actress? I think they're talking about Brie Larson, my man. Well, they could be talking about the cheese. The cheese is still bad. I, I highly doubt they're talking about the cheese. We're well, talking about. Well, if Hydros actors. was to go into this chat right now and type "I like Brie," he would be talking about the cheese. He would not be talking about the actress. So you have to clarify these things. Well, well, right, because uh, I mean, the cheese has more acting talent than Brie. <laughs> <laughs> it was a spooky ghost. <laughs> um, like, dude, Brie. Like, I watched Captain Marvel, and I've I'm like that. looking at. I'm like watching. I'm like. Like, the CGI is really good, obviously, because Marvel does that really well. But Brie Larson is just like, you know how uh, there was like the the stoic appearance of Wonder Woman in some scenes? So mm -hmm. it's like that throughout the entire movie, but worse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, like here's a few things. Right? I don't want to get any spoiler territory with Wonder Woman. So let's let's make sure we are kind of vague with this discussion here, right? But the start of Wonder Woman, the whole scene in the mall, I thought that was super cheesy. Like I'm talking about next level cheese. I'm like, why is why does this acting seem so wooden? Why does everything seem so corny, right? And um, when they were doing the whole bit in the the mall at the start, if you know what I'm talking about, it just seemed really weird and forced. And then. The movie had these really weird cuts in it. Like, I didn't really enjoy the actual cinematography in it. Like, the way that the director decided to cut the film, if, assuming the director did 
cut the film. I don't really know how that works. Maybe the studio done it. I don't know. Um, but overall, I, I thought when I first walked away from it, I thought it was okay. But then when I looked back on it, I'm like, you know what? There wasn't really a lot of substance to this movie, and it lasted two and a half hours. And I just think that, yeah. I mean, it's better than a lot of DC's output, but then a lot of DC's output is pretty terrible. So, okay. DC started heading in the right direction when they made Shazam. I now like they Shazam. took a step back. But you know, Shazam what? was the perfect. I think they tried to actually mimic what Shazam did because it actually did very well. Is try to incorporate that comedic crap into Wonder Woman, but it doesn't fit Wonder Woman. See the thing about Shazam, though, no, Hydro. Really. I don't think Shazam did that well financially. I think it did okay critically and like audience response. But I've looked at this and I'm fairly I sure know, well, that Shazam it, didn't do. I'm not talking about financially well. I'm talking about like well as in, you know, because people had little faith in DC at this yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. When Shazam came out, that's why it didn't really do well in the office, in the mm -hmm. box office and crap. Yep. But once people actually saw it, the movie, like in the critic, in the critically way, did very well because people started to realize DC started doing something right. Uh, but Shazam is a pretty easy character to get right, especially because you're working like because the, the 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 main character's a kid. And then you have to get a character who is an adult who who is basically a gigantic kid, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, and he did that very well. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the actor's name who did Shazam. Uh, it's the same guy that was in Chuck. Yeah, I forget the name yet. But, but it's, Chuck, it's Chuck hilarious to me because the Chuck actual Captain Marvel for DC did better than the actual Captain Marvel for for Marvel. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't realize that Shazam is actually Captain Marvel. You've kind of that's, that's a bit of a vague reference Mar there. Marvel got the name, but DC kept the character. Um, because Marvel decided to trademark it because they're assholes. Yeah, but then they changed the name to Shazam. You know what I mean? So, like, what was I going to say? But, um, do you know what I think is going to be hilarious? And you know it's probably going to happen. When uh, the Snyder cut of, of uh, Justice League comes out and it's still fucking terrible. <laughs> People are getting all hyped for this Snyder's cut and they think it's going to change everything. They don't realise it's going to basically be the same movie. And I think people are going to get upset when the Snyder cut well, actually comes and out. It's, and it's not going to be the actual Snyder cut that everybody said existed because they're actually going back and refilming things for it. Which means the actual Snyder cut that people want to see never existed in the first place. Yeah. What, the, what, what they're basically doing is they're filming the Snyder script. So the Snyder Cut implied that the whole film was done. Um, the only thing that they could do is um, the only thing that they could do is potentially fix certain scenes like um, Henry Cavill's yeah, fake moustache blackout thing. As, I mean, when I watched that film for the first time, I'm like, "What is going on with his mouth?" Like, I'm actually right. looking at the screen, I'm going, what the hell is happening to his mouth? And I mean, this isn't right, there's something going on with his face. They've, like, done something weird to this guy's face. And then, obviously, I later found out it's because he wasn't allowed to shave off his goatee that he had, his moustache, sorry, that he had for Mission Impossible. Um, so, like, yeah, I mean, that film was a disaster, and I don't think they'll ever save that film. I kind of feel bad for... What's his face? Uh, Buffy director. I forget his name right now. But uh, Josh, Josh Whedon. Whedon. Josh Whedon was kind of left to carry the can for the whole Justice League debacle. Um, I mean, he done super well with Avengers 1 and 2. I mean, well, I mean, Age of Ultron, maybe not as well. Um, Dude, the, the in the Justice League, the way Flash runs is so stupid. Yeah, Is it you that doesn't... <laughs> is, it, is it you that I don't like, like Ezra him? Miller. Yeah. I don't like him. He sucks. <laughs> But see the thing about the I mean, thing that I think so annoying the about the Barry Allen that he's trying to portray is like a scared bastard child. But I mean, uh, the guy that plays he's Flash, not. <laughs> he's actually, I mean, he's a freaking CIA, not a CIA, and a, a crime and like a crime investigator, right? Yeah, forensics. Yeah, but we've watched not, it, it's awful. I mean, he's not like hidden away, like scared of the world, like he tried to portray him as. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest issue with Ezra Miller is. They had a good Flash on screen at the point he was in the movie. The TV version of Flash is decent. That guy who plays Flash done a good job. I like that version of Flash. Oh, Grant Gustin. Yeah, I like Grant him Gustin as Flash. Grant Gustin does really well. Um, like, I think Grant Gustin is supposed to be in the Flash movie because it's going to be Flashpoint Paradox the Flashpoint based. Movie? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I want to know who they're going to get to play Reverse Flash. 
Well, that, that movie can't happen without Reverse Flash. Yeah, that would be interesting. And also, I've heard things like... Better not be Grant Gustin. I've heard things like Keaton is going to be back as Batman and stuff like that. They're like going to do yeah, the whole yeah. multiverse thing, um, which I should think be he's going to play Thomas Wayne, yeah? Because uh, oh, uh, that, that Thomas Wayne Batman is so cool. See, see if that was you. I love that suit. Huh? See if that was you. Hang on a minute. See if that was James. I'm going to just... I'm going to flip my <laughs> shit. Right now. Yeah, that was me. I that was me, you. baby. I hate you, you little... <laughs> you little <laughs> fucking wanker. Go away, man. Go away. Yeah, but... No, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. As much as I like DC... DC pales in comparison to Marvel for me. And the big one that I'm looking forward to yeah, is obviously yeah. obviously Spider-Man. Um, Spider-Man can... The thing is for DC, their animated movies do super well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. Yeah, great. Sucks. Yeah. I want to watch Death in the Family. Uh, DC, has anyone DC seen, Dark, Def, has like anyone seen World, Death in the Family? Dark. Like, I heard Death in the Family is meant to be quite good, but I've not watched it yet. Is that I haven't. Good? I haven't watched it yet. But uh... I've seen it. It's pretty good. I recommend watching it. I, th I thought when I first saw it, when I first saw it like on Batman. YouTube, I was watching like a clip of it. I thought it was like a like the, like the like they made like it was like a interactive oh, movie. Like you had to pick and choose like oh, wait, where wait, you do what, what you do. I'm like, huh? Hang on, what was that film called again, Julie? This is probably going to be my last race, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Uh, well, technically, I'm still streaming for another five minutes, so yeah, that's fine. Do you know what's well, a good film? I mean, I might be able to squeeze one more in then. You, you know, it's a good film. I don't know if you've seen it, and it's kind of like a dark Superman, Brightburn. That's a good film. Okay, yeah, oh, I've yeah. heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Oh yeah, it's super good. It's super I thought good. it was pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, it's basically, it. it's essentially what if Superman was bad? Like that, that's it. like if, if Superman had come to Earth and decided to be bad, what what would have happened? That's essentially what it's it is. Like, it's like what, what if Superman was bad, but in a weird way of telling it about Superman because it's not technically a DC movie. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, let's be honest. As, but then technically, it's obvious. It's obvious at what it is. But what if Zack Snyder made the Superman he actually wanted to? Well, no, I mean it's no, it's it's it's. it's I'm just messing because I don't think Zack Snyder really understands the character <laughs> of Superman. It's no, it's it's super dark. I don't think any of the people that have been directing some of these movies understand, except the one who directed Shazam. <laughs> also, they need to not be afraid to do Green Lantern again. They need to do it. Do we all agree that probably the, the most well cast superhero but in all of the movies is Ryan Reynolds' is Deadpool? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I would say it, him or uh, Tom Holland as Spider-Man. As much as I like Tom Holland as Spider-Man, I, I don't think that he quite reaches the heights of Ryan Reynolds' as Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds, like, it's as if Deadpool was made for Ryan Reynolds. Like, yep. He's just so good at it. Like that's why I found I it dead. Ryan Reynolds definitely still would make a good Hal Jordan if he did do a DC again, if he would do Green Lantern again. But I think they Dragon sitting in my chat is like, "Do you remember when Barry and Kara were supposed to die in Crisis? I remember that timeline. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, talking about the DC yeah, yeah, shows, yeah, yeah. the yeah. CW shows. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but Hydra, see the, the Titans needs to stop. see the thing that you said there, right? I, I don't know if I'm wrong i think i might not be wrong though ryan reynolds's two favorite characters was green lantern and deadpool so he wanted to mm -hmm. do justice to deadpool after what happened in wolverine origins and he managed to get a chance to do it again so you have to wonder if the right script come along if he would be willing to go back there i just don't know if he's now too ingrained in the whole Marvel verse, especially due to the fact that it's literally about to be him in the DCU. Uh, DCU. Well, technically, the MCU. He, Deadpool's not in in the MCU yet. So, uh, uh, he's, he's, Cal, how are you so fast? But he's going oh. to he's going to be, but because you know you know what's going to happen, right? Basically, Disney have already can well, somebody's already confirmed that Deadpool three is happening. It's going to be called Deadpool three. Deadpool oh, is. Yeah is self-aware, right? They're going to make a joke about it and they're going to put Deadpool into the MCU. It's going to be something stupid like Deadpool's the one character they don't have to build up all of this daft crap for. Deadpool can literally just walk into the MCU and be like, well, I'm here. Do you know what I mean? that They, they literally can be... It'll, it'll most likely be when 
China, it'll probably have something to do with Spider-Man and getting him in with Spider-Man because those two together are always like the funniest shit. Yeah, Julie just made a comment that would actually be quite funny. Deadpool will probably just walk into the MCU with Mickey Mouse ears on or something. <laughs> do you know what yeah. I mean? That's, that's like the type of shit that would happen. Yeah, there were several Green Lantern jokes in Deadpool 2, Drake. Yeah. Oh, no, I just watched Deadpool 2 the other day. I watched it with my son. I watched the Once Upon a Time version, so Once Upon a Deadpool. <laughs> Um, it's actually really good, believe it or not. And, um, you guys like uh, the first Deadpool or the second one better? I like the first one better. I like I, I like the I second like the one as a one movie, better. but the first one the, the first one's a better movie. Um, like better. Guy in chat said that Green Lantern needs to focus on John Shepard version. Uh, John Stewart. Yeah, John certainly it's John Stewart. Um, however, the one who was in the original Justice League when Justice League was formed is not John Stewart. It's actually Hal Jordan. So right. That would work because John Stewart didn't come in till later. I wouldn't mind getting a film with him. Just I think I'd like, rather have Kyle. I still would Rainer. like the actual Justice League origin with the at with the one who with the yeah. who was there. But originally, I, I still think I'd like to see a Kyle Rayner Green Lantern movie. He had a pretty good arc <laughs> in the comics. Just, oh, just I like I like that one. Yeah. Not, not, not gonna lie. I do think they need to make a TV show about just the Green Lantern Corps. That would be the best thing ever. I don't. Aren't they doing an like, HBO Max Lantern? series? Are they? I don't know. I never. I didn't know. Maybe I'd I be could, cool though. I'd be down. Maybe this is bad casting. Also, I don't know. Stop but putting anything on HBO Max, please. Couldn't we? Couldn't we get? Um, to me, Idris Elba could play John Stewart. Um, I'd be a good call. I think that would work. Well, I I had an idea for who could play John Stewart, but you know that's not going to happen anymore. Huh. Think about it. He's not alone. He's no longer with the MCU. Just an FYI. <laughs> uh, Idris Elba. Oh, hmm. Bozeman. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he'd be good. Well, I mean, you don't need to keep that secret. I mean, who's the? There's a guy from another movie that I thought would be pretty cool as well. Um, I can't remember his name. I know his face. I can't remember his name, and I can't remember what movie he's from. <laughs> See, <coughs> do, do, do you know something, right? That this is. Maybe people don't like talking about this, I don't know, right? But see before Chadwick Boseman passed away, right? I read that Green that um, Black Panther 2 was in a bit of a state with regards to its writing because the writers wanted to make Shuri the new... They wanted to do this shift towards having more female superheroes. And I read that they wanted to phase out Chadwick and bring in Shuri to be the new Black Panther. This was way before anyone knew that Chadwick was unwell or anything like that. So I think Disney were already planning to not have him stay on as Black Panther and they didn't know about his illness. So they were already wanting to do this whole female empowerment superhero stuff anyway and it's like I read this at least a year to six months before anything came out about um, being not well and stuff. Um, but I think the direction that Disney wanted to go in was already to be. Shiri was going to be um, changing to become the green... Uh, the... No, we're doing one more. Yeah, we, need to stop. We, need to, we need to stop doing all this like female empowerment stuff. It's actually getting in the way. No, we're doing one more, Taffy. Not that I'm not all... For, not that I'm for... Not, oh, no, well, no, it just needs to be more it. genuine just, and all stop changing stuff that doesn't need to be changed. You said one more, Hayes. One more, one more. Last one. All right, I'm in. This is the final one. Is the stream over? The final round. Is the stream over? Is the stream over yet? Well, I mean, we're still streaming. So oh, is the stream over yet? Like, you're waiting for it to be? Jeez. Wow. Drake over on my chat asked, isn't the guy that plays Diggle going to be Green Lantern? In the CW-verse, yes. Um, but there yeah, is, as awesome. far as I know, a Green Lantern core HBO what? Max series going on right now. Or in oh, the works. Oh, yeah, good point, Julie. Um... Hydros, can you do me a favor? No. Can you find somebody to raid so that when I finish this, I can raid somebody? Um, yeah. I was say, uh, uh, Taisha well, Daisetsu is doing oh, Destiny another... if you want to throw it over to the team member. Yeah, throw it to a team member. Right, that's what we're supposed Dude, to do. So Soldier Boy is streaming. No, no. So, <laughs> I, 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 an actor I thought would be pretty good for probably Jon Stewart is Andre Holland. Taffy, can I just say to you, we're going to be doing every single Tuesday from now on, we're going to be doing Mario Kart, so you can join in. I, we did do the stream for two and a half hours, well, just over that, like promised, so 
I'm so no, but this is an extra one. It's it's actually scheduled in the diary for every Tuesday. Um, Alec agreed. I agreed. Supposedly, someone yep. else agreed. So um, today we're streaming just because I wanted to play games. I had time. Bro, what? So, so I the, asked. The supposed Green Lanterns that are supposed to be in this HBO series are Kilowog, Sinestro, Jessica Cruz, Simon Baz, Guy Gardner, Alan Scott, and Alan Scott. <laughs> what? Those are the those are the Green Lanterns that are supposed to be in this HBO Max series that they're supposed to be doing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not a big fan of Green Lantern. Like, ah, you guys are nerding out a little too hard for me. I'm like not following. You don't even know what a Green Lantern is, do you? No, I I know. It's just like I don't I don't like yeah. the. I don't know, I know like two Green Lanterns. Like the white one, the black one. That was like in uh, Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> you know they have names, Wait, you know? <laughs> I know they have names, I just don't know them on the top of my head. I just know they're different um, ethnicities. Does more than one white one, and I think there's multiple black ones? Like no, I, multiple, is there really? multiple Green Lanterns, yeah. There's alien ones. There's like you'd, lo you'd lose your shit if you saw the Green Lantern core, the entirety of it. There's oh yeah, the core. I and know, the fact, but, um... and the fact there's there's multiple Lantern cores for each color in the spectrum. Yeah, and and I think like wait, the Black Lantern is the one that brings people back from the dead. So you get like like dead yeah. dead. Dude, Batman that would be stuff. such a cool. That would be a, that would be a good arc for that TV show. Is doing justice. Is doing. Which almost the guy that was in Black uh... Knight. Yeah, Blackest Night, that would be such a good one. Uh, then you've got like the red ones, which I think are rage, aren't they? Or anger. Yeah. Yep, the red yellow, is rage. The, the, yeah. the yellow one is fear. Yep. Yeah. Do you know how, do you know the only reason I know this? Because my son plays the Lego games. <laughs> it's like Sinestro's like, nah, fear. And it's like, okay, so he's the fear guy. Um, Orange is avarice. Is, oh, you're is green, kidding me. Is green hope? Green yeah. is willpower. Willpower. Will, will, sorry. Blue is hope, actually. Right, 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 right. okay. Indigo is love. Love. Cal, you got lucky on that one. Yeah. Wait, but the, no, 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 no. Vi Violet is love. Indigo is compassion. Right. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's is what she it not is. a tricky trickster? Right. Okay. So, guys, we're going to be ending the stream here. We will be back to do white, more stuff. We're going to jump over and we are going to raid Tystra. If Alec could right now tell me how to do Tystra's name. Wait a minute. I go raid space and then I type his name, don't I? Yeah, I think it's a uh, slash raid space and then tight well, dice. It, I thought it was like exclamation mark raid. No, no I'm pretty sure it's slash for 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 actual Twitch commands. It's slash raid. Yeah, it's it's a slash space. Tystra, how do how tell me how you spell it? T y t y s s t r a t r a d a i d a i s e t s e t s u S U, right? And when I first saw, I first saw his name for the website. I was sitting there going, "Okay." The raid has Dai been canceled. Setsu. What? Did he go offline? Did he? No, he's still online. Well, I never canceled any raid. I just done it. Oh. Uh, it's not on though. When my next why. streaming Mario Kart uh, will be next week. Well, we might do it again All this right. week. I don't really know. The raid has been canceled. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! I'm trying to do it. Hold on. Hydros, can you just raid them? Yeah, give me like two seconds and I get into the Twitch. Hydros Let me set up the raid on my end of things head. as well. I, I'll probably play Mario Kart myself tomorrow. Um, so if you if want to stream... Available, I'll join. You already have a raid in progress. What the f If you want to play Mario Kart on stream, you can jump over to my channel. He's like DKB. And I, I generally stream Mario Kart every day. <laughs> so if you want races, get me over there and you can... Um, Join that one, Taffy, 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 Taffy. This done this to me the other day, and I had to not raid someone. Is it not? <laughs> I is can't. It... I can't stop a raid. How do you stop a raid? <laughs> I mean, there's no raid in progress, so I don't really know what it's talking about. It won't let me. Yeah. Uh, you. I says. Hold on. Give me like two seconds. Well, if you just hit, if you go in the bios, if you go in the bios on five nine dot com, um. He's like DKB. I Twitch stream Mario Kart daily. I Twitch stream Mario Kart daily. And I race with people all the time. 
Mm, there you go. There you go. If you click on that, you can go there. Follow my Twitch, and I will race you at Mario Kart anytime you want. No, not anytime you want. Anytime we're, we're still, we're still not getting the raid thing working on this side. I don't know. It's not actually working. Mm. Look at Dondre. Look at Dondre. Like just knocking it out of the park. Absolutely knocking it out of the park there. <laughs> um, already have a raid in progress. It doesn't. <laughs> well. It looks like we're not going to be reading anyone today, guys. <laughs> don't really know that why sucks. this is, why this is yeah. happening. Um, i done the command. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we have like a regular shout-out command? Because I could at least give Tystra a shout-out and people can go there from that link. Nope, we don't do... We don't have that. <laughs> um, if we just put out the link tree, and I mean, you could go to the bio and see Tystra Ty and go from there, but obviously it probably won't work. <laughs> I'll, try right. again. I'll try again, I'll try again, I'll try again. I'll try again. Paste. Paste. Try one more time. You already have a raid in progress. Supposedly I'm raiding. The only raid I know about is Raid Shadow Legends. You should download it. Um, a few more days left of our sponsorship. Uh, if you download it and you play through the... Thanks, Taffy. If you play through the tutorial, it takes you around about five minutes, then you'll see how epic Raid Shadow Legends actually is. And, yeah. It's the only raid that we're going to have today, guys. Make sure you download Raid Shadow Legends. What are we doing? Are we done? Can't really... We can't yeah. raid anyone. I kind of need to just end the stream, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Well, guys... There you go, guys. I put it in the chat for you if you want to head over and see Tyster. He's a member of 59... Or 59 Gaming, sorry. Yeah. Alec is getting fired if he does that again. It's 59. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm working on it. Five, I'm getting better at it. 59, 59, 59. That's what to do. That's what to do. How old you will be in 21 years' time? Just remember that, Alec. 5'9. 5'9. 5'9. That's right, but that would make me that would make me say 59. Oh well, well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, so we are gonna go remember if you've got the time, just follow this one command that we have, which is raid this channel. 5'9 gaming. Poof. 5-9 Gaming promotes Raid Shadow Legends. Download now. Five minutes. We get paid. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> right. How'd I end the stream? I just swore. Ah, <laughs> stop streaming!